go fast. So right, uh, right. When when things go poorly, they they go. You know, it starts to snowball. It doesn't doesn't go doesn't get any better when when things are going badly. Yeah, there is definitely some RNG in this run for sure. But in the early game, they can kind of manipulate that a little bit. That's what they're going to be going for uh, in the race, and especially in the attempts. They may even be resetting a lot in the attempts to make sure that they're getting uh, the correct RNG in terms of. Well, it's not. It's really a global timer, right? That's maybe you could uh, just explain how the, the global timer works with getting the weapon drops. That's initially. correct. So yeah, when you start the game. Uh, the drops aren't necessarily random. If you do everything the same way and you kill these enemies, uh, you will get the same drop every time. So in this first stage, they're just making sure that they uh, destroy, defeat the enemies, switch to the Dirk weapon, which is your third Batman weapon, and then uh, as, as long as you uh, collect the drops and not slow down at all, uh, you you will get a lot of ammo. And so far, these uh, these runners have a lot of ammo, uh, more than 70 or 80, and that that's like they're in good shape. Absolutely, yeah. You you want to get as much as you can early on because you're you're inevitably going to go through a drought. Uh, and it seems like I guess Dexter forgot to start his timer, but Feasel is the master of syncing things up. So I'm I'm pretty sure that we are indeed all synced up, and we can see it. It does look like Dexter is going to be the first one through stage one, as he does a nice uh, manipulation on Firebug there to be able to quick kill him. Um, yeah, but yeah. They, they got, all of them got pretty lucky on that boss. Uh, that boss actually also has some randomness to him, because he has two different patterns, one where he throws fireballs, and one where he swoops down. You want the latter, and you want it to happen right away, so uh, they, they all got lucky, and uh, we got a really close race here now i've heard that you can actually if you're if you're standing on the correct pixel uh you'll always get a dive but um i'm not sure if that's if that's true or not but maybe they were all doing that maybe they got lucky either way yeah we have a very close race on our hands um as we mentioned at the outset these are the four top players they're separated by less than 10 seconds now i believe because infested rich just got himself a 10 15 moments ago so Dexter is leading with a 10.06. Uh, I believe Endy has, I don't know if he did a frame count or not. He had either a 10.09 or a 10.10 that he got last night. And then Bad Breaks, uh, I believe, has a 10.15 as well. So him and Rich uh, tied up there. But yeah, super, super close competition, right? Yeah, and uh, this, this area in stage two, this is a very tricky section. Uh, some of them may have fallen behind a little bit because uh, these little spike cars, these little machines that are ro roving across on the ground, those could be really hard to hit. And uh, they're all there's like electric floor, there's an electric ceiling. Uh, you could lose a lot of damage. You take a lot of damage, lose a lot of life uh, if you're not careful. And health does become a concern in this game because unlike most games, you do not get a full health refill after each stage. You only get four health, which is essentially half. You start with eight. So, you know, taking damage uh, can definitely kind of, it can snowball, you know, like you may only get back to seven after one act and then you only get back to six and then you only get back yeah. to five. So it just kind of puts you in this trouble spot where um, your execution just has to get tighter and tighter over the course of the run if you're not getting health. And health drops are just, uh, they're kind of rare as well, right? Yeah, it's not often that you get health drops. You're actually considered very lucky if you get the drops that you want because um, besides ammo or health, you can also get uh, another drop that is the letter B, and that's those are just bonus points. Those will not yeah. help our <laughs> yeah. They will, they will not help our speedrunners today to get that. Good old bonus points. Yeah, that's probably. I feel like it's the most common drop, but maybe maybe weapons and bonus points are even. It just it, it always seems like when you need things the most, you just start getting a bunch of uh, bonus points drops. So as we come into uh, the third stage, you're going to see this enemy uh, very, very notorious for ruining lots of Batman speedruns. This is the jumper, and uh, the jumpers are based on uh, Batman's movement. So if you're not moving, they will not come at you. But uh, as soon as you, you know, it's a speedrun, as soon as you're coming towards them, they have different ways of jumping at you, and uh, these guys, they need to be prepared to figure out what to do when, when it happens. 
Yeah, and they're very, very adept at uh, manipulating those jumpers. Dexter especially, because he's actually done a pacifist run of this game. I don't know if the other guys have, but in that, you really need to know uh, how the jumpers react in like every single situation. But yeah, Dexter out to a, a pretty nice lead here. Uh, that could all change very quickly, but he's got full health, he's got plenty of weapons, um, and he's on, a, he's on a fairly nice pace, I think. Yeah, it looks like he's doing. They're all doing um, the same stress. They're taking um, some of them taking damage, and basically what they want to do is they want to just tank these hits and get right in that this big tank. There's this big tank that uh, shows up. They want to get right in its hitbox and just punch right through it. Uh, as they're inside, they won't take any damage because whenever you hit an enemy, uh, their hitbox uh, disappears, so they don't take. Any damage you can move through, move through them uh, without be unharmed. I should say. Yes, definitely one of the key tactics in this game. As you see, Dexter and probably some of the other players going for what's known as the cog skips. That's where you take some intentional damage, and you can just barely pull off these super tight jumps. Infested Rich missed it. Um, it's kind of a, it's like a high risk, high reward thing. Um, for the race, it's probably more risky. For record attempts, you pretty much need to do it because it does save a, a decent amount of time. Uh, as Dexter closes out the fight there with the elect Electrocutioner, and he's in good shape heading into Act 4. Yeah, all of these runners, they're doing really good on health. This boss, if you don't have at least 3 health when you come into him, you cannot do the quick kill that they're doing. You have to intentionally take some damage there so that you could be right next to him and start punching him, and then use your Batarangs to finish him off. Yeah, definitely certain spots where you just can't avoid damage in this game. And Dexter getting a nice pattern there with the jumpers as well, so... He's he's set up pretty good here, and he's kind of just building on his lead, as you can see the other players struggling a little bit in 4-1. Four, four 4-1 is one of the tougher stages, I would say. Do you, do you agree? Yeah. Uh, again, we just talked about like intentionally taking damage. There are some spots here uh, with the conveyor belts, and um, you cannot... In order to go fast, you can't really avoid anything. And uh, these enemies are kind of tricky to hit as well. The game just starts ramping up in difficulty, and uh, these guys are making it look easy. Yeah, pretty incredible play so far from from everyone. And Dexter is just trucking, man. He's going to take some intentional damage here uh, before he enters 4-2. And he is very healthy on weapons, So, and, and he's got enough health that he can take intentional damage at the beginning of this stage as well. And the key for me now is going to be, because he didn't start his timer, so he doesn't know what time he's at. Is he going to go for the Diggler strat or not? That's the question. Yeah, so there's a strat here. Dexter's coming up on it, right? Right now. I, he's got the like, gun out. Yeah. <laughs> he, he's not doing it. He knows he's on a good pace, I guess. <laughs> yeah, so even in his world record, he skips doing that trick, and it saves, uh, I would say, a little bit of time, uh, maybe uh, even a second. Because basically you're not stopping to shoot the little spike car that's on that tiny platform. Uh, you're just you're throwing a dirk, and then right before you land, you have to punch that spike car. It might be a frame or or two, and uh, heard, it's a yeah, very I tight heard, window. I heard, I heard it was two, or it could be. It, it varies depending on the setup, but yeah, I think it's most of the time it's going to be a two frame trick, which is really, really difficult, and it's something that if you do get knocked down, you're going to lose, what, like 10, 15 seconds? Yeah, so, you have to go all the way around and uh, come back to that section. So Dexter not getting the most favorable pattern on the blocks there, unfortunately. That's probably going to kill his chance of getting record, and he might die to the boss now at this point. This is going to be dependent on the pattern, and it looks like he survives, so he makes it through. And he's yeah. the first one into Act 5. So De Dexter... Um... After you beat a boss in Batman, you get a health refill, but he still he doesn't have the full health. Uh, it doesn't give you a full health refill, so he's, he'll be looking to get maybe a few heart drops uh, and there's from some one. of his enemies. Yeah, so he's he's in good shape. This uh, clock tower climb uh, is very very difficult. A lot of precise jumps to avoid like taking damage, and then when you don't, uh, you have to fight this ridiculously tough boss at the end. So. Um, the more health you have, the better, obviously. And still anybody's race. You can see all these guys are in Act 5, and it's, it's very easy to die to either of the bosses, both Firebug uh, and the Joker, because of just various circumstances. Dexter is pretty good on health at the moment, though. He's going to be the first one to get the Firebug, and he's going to want to get him into this loop. He's got to get to what we call the magical position. It's like a two-pixel 
window that you can stand in and you can just fire batarangs and he'll just kind of jump back and forth. So let's see if he gets it. Alright, he's trying to set it up right there. Oh no, no, he is not getting it. He's gonna he has one more chance to set it up here. Oh, and Dexter takes the death. So we he's have. gonna start over on Firebug. Andy is gonna take the lead very briefly. If he can keep Firebug in the magical position, he's gonna be the first one to take Firebug down. And he's taking some damage. He needs to finish this boss off. Oh man, and Andy goes down! So it looks like Infested Rich and Dexter are practically tied going into the Joker. Now there is a glitch that can actually save like three and a half seconds. If one of them gets it, they'll most definitely win the race. It's a frame-perfect glitch. Oh man, this is tight. Oh, it looks like Dexter with the final hit first. No glitch for either player. No wow. glitch for either player. Oh my goodness. Dexter by less than a second over Rich is what it looks like. I don't, we don't have the I don't have SRL up. I don't I don't think we actually did the uh I don't think yeah, we did this did race on SRL. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, wow. We'll see if the, any of the other uh, runners gets the gets this glitch. We call it the Joker glitch. Basically what's happening is uh if you kill Joker at the same time as he's calling the lightning, uh, the, the fight will just end. It will black out and go to see the cutscene right away. So you do not control Batman at that time. The right. run is over. Saves and, you some time. Yes, and that is when the time stops. Uh, that That's kind of a holdover from, from the old days of how timing was established for a lot of these speed runs. Uh, there was a, a site called Speed Demo's Archive. And they would usually say that, you know, when you gain control of the character is when timing starts, and when you lose control of the character is when timing ends. So that's kind of where that is. Even So even though you've defeated Joker, you still have control for those, those several seconds. But uh, what a race to kick things off, man. That just kind of shows everybody the kind of skill that we're dealing with here. So uh, lots of really, really good times from these guys. And what we're going to do now is we're going to have them go into some world record attempts. Yeah, again, uh, that was that was a race setting, and uh, these in attempts like it's the same sort of deal. These boss fights they are not easy. <laughs> like so, yes. uh, uh, maybe in the attempts it will be a little more relaxed. They don't have to worry about beating the other the other players. But um, yeah, like that magical position for a firebug, like you you need to be like right on top of it, or yeah. else the or else you're probably not going to get a PB. Yeah, there's only a few pixels there. I believe it's. I believe it is a two-pixel window. I, it could be a one-pixel window. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, it's pretty tight. It's pretty tight. And once, if you don't get in it right away, it just becomes so much harder to get in it uh, after the fact. So, uh, so we're gonna see these guys starting up attempts, and we have Andy is the first one in, and you can see he's executed that first screen perfectly, just the way he wants. So he has 55 ammo. Uh, as we discussed with the global timer, you can do that pretty much every time if you're timing things correctly. Yeah, so a little like general mechanics wise, every time these players do a, a jump or a wall jump, there's a little bit of a startup to each one. So they want to keep those to a minimum if they can help it. And uh, and, and that second screen, the, there are these proximity mines on the ground and you have to carefully time your jump to punch these enemies, these bad guys that are running towards you, and then jump right at the right when you right when you land, so that you avoid the mines. So a lot of things happening uh, at once. You see, Andy, he is uh, coming up to the boss again, and uh, once they throw, once you hit the boss the first time, they're gonna turn around and just wiggle a little bit so that the boss stays at the bottom. I remember seeing um, old attempts and. Uh, they used to just jump towards that boss and just throw batarangs to like you know, it was way way harder, uh, much harder strat. Right, right, definitely. Um, so just a reminder, folks, uh, that first race was just to kind of display the whole game so you guys could kind of see what these guys are up against. But now, like everybody's just going to be doing world record attempts, so these guys are going to be resetting and they are going to be trying to get on a good pace uh, to see if if somebody can actually get you know a personal best or the world record. In fact. Uh, which would be pretty insane. And we've done a few of these so far, and pretty much every single one, there's been somebody that's gotten on like some insane, insane pace uh, in each one. So I'm pretty sure we'll see that today. Yeah, another thing about uh, this stage that Dexter is on right there, they're actually taking a, a little shortcut. There's actually a portion of the level that is there on the right. And uh, as 
as you can see, they just reach up to that uh, that one platform, and just do a wall jump, and uh, skips a, a good good section of the stage. Dexter coming into uh, two two here, and he's actually going to do another shortcut after he clears these two bad guys. Uh, again, just reaching up to this platform and doing a wall jump, skipping that area to the left. So uh, coming up to this uh, section here, Dexter. This is a two-frame window where he has to punch that spike car. He got it uh, right there, and uh, he's moving on to these shredder enemies. Looks like he made a mistake, and uh, he did. He's yeah, he's going to have to reset. reset because of that, unfortunately. <laughs> So Infested Rich also coming up on that same section though, so hopefully he'll make it through. Um, yeah, if you get out of line with those guys, then you're, you're pretty much getting knocked back, and that's what happened to Dexter. He, he was trying to cut his jump a little bit too tight and just barely missed. So Rich also getting the, uh, the hit stun there, the, the two-frame hit stun that you mentioned, and he is going to actually make it up this climb, it looks like. So hopefully he'll be able to maintain the pace. And, and Fiesel's going to be switching the layouts as we go, guys, to kind of focus on if any of the runners actually do get on a really good pace, we're going to kind of switch it up and focus on that. But we are going to see a lot of early game probably. So right now we see Endy is the furthest, but nobody's even made it to Act 3 yet. That's probably when we'll start switching things around. Yeah, For so again, uh, just to talk about the game a little bit, for the most part, anytime you see these guys attack, they will want to do so while they're jumping, not standing, obviously, at the same time. Uh, all the enemies will drop an item when you destroy them, and there are three items that you can get. You can get a heart, which gives you one bar of life, uh, a bullet, which gives you 10 units of ammo, and uh, we already talked about the letter B, the bonus points, so uh, we don't want any of that. Um, do not want that. And uh, just for the actual weapon counts, the uh, I don't I can't remember if we mentioned this yet, but the the batarang uh, takes one, uh, the gun weapon takes two, and the dirk weapon, which is the tri blade, takes three of your ammo. Yeah, the batarang it acts like a boomerang. It is one of the most effective weapons against enemies and bosses, I would say, because of its back and forth movement and how long it's active. So, and you can and another benefit to that weapon is you can throw these sort of in a rapid fire succession so uh, you can get a lot of them out there to do a lot of damage as we see Endy is uh, moving on to 2-3 and uh, here on these, this conveyor belt section uh, at the end of it he wants to make a jump this will save frames yeah it's wow. a jump to uh, to go all the way and under that uh, little pod thingy on the ceiling and uh, ooh, he took took some damage there. Every got time, a little bit of trouble. Yeah, every time Batman gets hit, uh, if you're not jumping, he will get knocked back, and uh, that's that's pretty bad. <laughs> then you'll lose time from that. So Andy gonna continue anyway. Um, he actually got his PB the other. Oh no, I think he's gonna have to reset now at this point. Um, yeah, he actually got his PB, and he, I think he was not on his greatest pace and kind of finished pretty strong. Uh, the other night, from what I understand. But yeah, you guys can see that this game is really, really tough in the in the early going. Uh, so again, once we, we want to see some of our competitors getting to Act 3. And once they kind of get past 3-1, that's usually when you know, okay, maybe we got a run going on here now. So, gotta maybe take a little time, but um, I'm pretty confident all of these guys will get completed runs today. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I think so too. Uh, these guys have been doing attempts the past few days and uh, they've been going at some insane paces. <laughs> so uh, it'll be fun to see today. Um, again, you're going to see Andy and uh, even Dexter, they're using this Dirk weapon. And this, uh, this is a projectile that when it's thrown, it splits apart into three. And uh, the biggest benefit of it is that it goes through walls and enemies. And because of its spread, it can be useful for like hitting enemies that are above you or below you. And uh, yeah, it takes the the only downside is it takes three ammo. So uh, ammo management is a big part of this game. But uh, using uh, using the best weapons makes you go the fastest. So in a speed run, you just gotta hope for the best, hope for good luck. 
And typically, in most runs, I would say that even though things can get a little dicey with the weapon count, it usually comes through. Every now and then, maybe I'd, I'd say maybe 10% of the time, uh, you'll get a run where you just can't get enough weapon drops to maintain, and it's just really unfortunate when that happens. But most of the time, if you're just playing through the game, you will be able to get to the end, and you sh I think you need, I want to say, maybe 25 uh, batarangs for when you get to Firebug and then you can complete the game because you, you don't need to use any weapons on Joker. Yeah, I think that's that's correct. So, so uh, as long as, yeah, if you can maintain that, then you're good. And we see Rich coming up here on a boss, so he could be the first person to get to Act 3 so far? Maybe? Maybe. So, uh, about this boss, this is a big machine. It has uh, three different phases, and the, the weak points are all located in three different sections. You can see they're uh, invested, taking care of it uh, very cleanly, and now he has to deal with these uh, jumpers. Hopefully he gets good luck. He has that one jumper is chasing him, but uh, it looks like he was about, he's, he was, he's good, he's shaked him off, and now he has uh, a couple more to get past. And that last jumper, the, that that's going to be the end of him. And uh, yeah, it looks like he is in the clear. As he comes into this uh, next screen, there is actually a one frame jump. There it is. You, oh! When you transition into a uh, three two, you can actually, if you time it just right, you can you can jump, and that saves timing. Uh, you actually jump up to that platform, and uh, the biggest uh, Biggest thing for Rich right now is his ammo. He is very low on ammo. <laughs> he needs that ammo count to go up. Yeah, he's at 13, so this could be one of those 10% times that I just mentioned where he doesn't get the drops because you really want to have a lot of drops going into the next sections because you're going to use a ton of weapons in this stage and then in Act 4. Uh, that's points. That's not going to help him. He may do... He's doing an alternate strat there. Uh, there is a Dirk strat that he just skipped, and he's going to have to reset. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Um, so Rich not able to go with the, the normal strat there, and he, he was just hoping to get the tank going. But we're back to the quad box layout, folks. Uh, we'll see more runs getting back three, though. Don't worry. That was just the first of many, as we see uh, several of our other players are now into Act 2. Uh, hopefully they can complete things. And it looks like Dexter uh, moving along here. Other guys are. It looks like I guess Bad Breaks is the is the furthest at the moment by just a little bit. Yeah. So bad, here in the section, Bad Breaks is going to take intentionally take damage, and then the, this last area right here where he's doing these wall jumps. It's a very precise wall jump. Basically, what he wants to do is, uh, and he clears it just uh, perfectly. But uh, in Batman, when you when you are holding a direction and you jump, you are like going in that direction. There's no way to change your momentum. It's sort of like Arthur in Ghouls and Ghosts, but right. uh, in in that sort of, in that section there with all the electric floors and the ceilings, you want to uh, not be holding any directions. You just want to jump uh, straight up and then move to the right. You get control of Batman there, and uh, as we see, Bat breaks. He's making a, a few mistakes. Uh, coming to the end of uh, of two three. Yeah, and he's a little low on health as well. Uh, you do have to take intentional damage in this next boss fight, pretty much no matter what. Dexter doing a little bit better on health and a little bit better on pace, but maybe both of them will advance to Act Three this time. Yeah, there's the stage two boss again. There are a lot of hazards and everything, and there's a conveyor belt just holding you back. Uh, but you just want to get right in those weak points, uh, get right up to them and start punching them if you can. So Bad Breaks is doing well on weapons and he gets a good jumper pattern there. In fact, this is the best pattern uh, and he's able to get rid of those first two jumpers. He needs some health. Uh, I would say at this point, weapons probably a little bit more important than health, but he's going to have to take intentional damage on this next boss, as you mentioned earlier. So you're, you're going to have to get health at some point, otherwise you're going in Act 4 with very little health and that can become a problem. Wow, um, Dexter uh, had two jumpers on him and uh, he was able to just manage through that dicey situation. Uh, neither of them getting that one frame jump, uh, it's not a big deal, but uh, Dexter, uh, we have 
two sort of different situations here where Dexter is sort of low on health and Bad Breaks, uh, he's losing a lot of health. <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah, Bad Breaks is going to have to reset. Uh, Dexter is okay, though, and he's he's not on a bad pace here. He's got a decent amount of health. Uh, he's going to be able to keep progressing, and hopefully we'll, we'll get a run to Act 4 here shortly. That would be our first world record attempt to Act 4 of the day, I believe, if we do get it. So let's see, Dexter with that health drop, that's really nice. And he is going to forego the Dirk strat there. He's probably just a little bit lower on weapons than he wants to be. Yes, he is at 21, it looks like. Yeah, you want to have uh, at least 20 ammo going into the, electro the Electrocutioner fight, because um, in order to do that fight optimally, you need to trigger the boss to come towards you, and you need to use a Dirk to do that. You can use a... You can use the rocket gun, but uh, it's not nearly as effective, and it doesn't give you as many iframes. All right, Dexter going for these cog skips again. He got the first one. Can he get the second one? It's a really, really tight jump, and he makes both of them, so that's going to save him some time, and he's still low on weapons. Hope for a weapon drop here from the tank. No weapon drop, so he's in trouble going at Act 4, but he's going to make it, it looks like. Yeah, so again, he's going to trigger the boss to come right next next to him and then move to the other side so that the boss like stays over there on the left and while well, he's like swinging just wildly in, into the wall for uh even though batman's not there so uh yeah Ooh, looks like dexter oh, yeah. got a, a oh, bad and pattern he to, and he has to pass up both of those weapon drops to maintain his pace but he gets another weapon drop so here he can farm some enemies the enemies do clump up uh, looks like uh didn't, didn't get anything there Double More points. points. <laughs> oh. Thank goodness he so well does so well with his battering. Look at that! Look at how he handled those two jumpers with just the battering, and now he's on six. What's he gonna do? I mean, can, he can punch some of these enemies coming up, but that takes such a lot of time to do. And he does punch that one guy down. All right, he he got some weapons, but he's still really short. His pace is suffering because of this, so I guess I shouldn't have said anything earlier <laughs> about uh, uh, that 10% chance. But but he's maintaining. He's maintaining. If he can get a weapon drop here, maybe he'll be okay. No. So he's gonna have uh, just one more chance there, and then he's probably gonna punch this guy down. Still no weapon drop. Wow. Yeah. So there's the reset. And uh... that's unfortunate. Really unfortunate. Infested Rich, meanwhile, has progressed into uh, Act 3 as well, and he is closing in on the boss. We'll have to see what his weapon situation is, though. So right there, uh, Infested, to save save time by not, not jumping, he just takes, takes care of that proximity mine on that platform, and he's going to be moving on to these cog skips. Uh, looks like he's going to skip the cog skips. Excuse me. Uh, looks like his health is kind of low, and uh, he's just gonna yeah. avoid taking damage. Yeah, that's two damage, and then two more on the boss. So that would have put him down to one HP, which would translate to five HP going into Act Four, which is not really a good situation. So he's gonna rather be at seven HP going into Act Four, which is a little bit safer as we single up Rich. And uh, just a reminder, this is Chase for the record. These guys are going for the world record. That's why they're resetting. This is not a, a race. We did our race earlier as Rich takes down the boss. And he's he's on a decent pace here. Uh, gonna need ammo, though. He's in the same situation as Dexter just was. Very nice yeah. pattern, though. Yeah, so there's, uh, there's a pattern there with the hopper. Uh, he'll jump immediately at you, and then as you pass through him with the dirt, He'll, he'll just hop straight up, and then you can just progress the screen forward, and uh, he will be he will be away from from you. And uh, unfortunately, we see a reset there from from Rich, just uh, not able to get past that last hopper there. Four one is brutal, and he he wasn't getting much help in terms of weapon drops. He did get the health drops, but uh, I think at that point he would have probably preferred the weapons because going into the, the next stage, you, you can take some options. You know, you can either take two damage or you can save your health. Um, whereas with weapons, you, you, you pretty much just need the weapons most of the time. Like the backup strats for not having the weapons are usually not very good. Uh, and we're going to go back to our quad box here because everybody's in the, pretty, in, the, in the early game once again. Yeah. So uh, the, all four of these runners, uh, 
their PBs are 10 seconds apart. Is that correct? I think. Yeah. Uh, with, with, uh, oh, yeah. We have Dexter at 10.06. Uh, Andy is either a high 10.09 or a low 10.10. Uh, we have Infested Rich and Bad Breaks both at 10.15. So all super, super close. All very capable runners. And all from Sweden. I don't think we've mentioned that yet. But these guys are all from Sweden. So there's something in the water out there that uh, produces some top tier Batman players and just NES in general. These guys are all NES gods. Yeah, much. that's correct. Yeah, I was talking with Rich, or uh, I was in his I was in his stream uh, today and he pretty much said, if you're from Sweden, uh, there's no exception. If you're a speedrunner, you have to play Batman. <laughs> this, it's, it's the rules. It, it's like the national sport or whatever. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like they have a few of those games. In fact, uh, let's see, two two of our runners were in a previous chase for the record. Mega Man, Dexter, and Endy are both uh, top Mega Man runners as well. And so is Cool Kid, who's another Swede. Although, I don't know if Cool Kid has played Batman before. That's uh, They might be bringing him up on charges for that one. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> we don't see a PB soon or something. But uh, not to leave uh, anyone out, we want to, want to talk about uh, Bad Breaks a little bit. Um, bad, you may be familiar with Bad Breaks for his Zelda 2 speedruns. Uh, Zelda 2 is also a big Swe Sweden game. Yes. And, uh, you know, as well as many other NES games that Bad Breaks plays. Very good old school speedrunner. He holds the world record for a few NES speedruns, such as the Cryon Conquest, uh, the Flintstones, and the Adventures of Tom Sawyer. And uh, you may or may not see it today, but his name, it does indicate some difficulty in slowing down. Yes. So his, his play style <laughs> might stand out more than, other, than the other players you'll see. Uh, he, I have seen him go for a lot of very difficult strats. And they only save like frames, only frames in this speed. Very runs. aggressive approach. Bad Breaks aptly named. Uh, yeah, he doesn't do safe strats. It's just not something that, uh, like, I don't know if he even learns safe strats. Like, he just goes for the hardest strat uh, every time, which, you know, ultimately it's, it's, it's high risk, high reward. Like, if he does get a run, it's going to be, like, really, really crazy. And then, you know, either that or it's just going to go down in flames in some tragic, tragic way. But it'll be exciting one way or the other, that's for sure. Yeah, as we see, Dexter, he is back in 3-1. He's getting past these hoppers. Uh, again, uh, that last hopper there, sometimes he can uh, act uh, like really crazy and uh, he takes care of it just cleanly. Coming into 3-2, he gets the transition jump. Wow. That's a one frame trick. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he, we, got, we got a run going here, guys. You know, it's funny, you see them hit that one frame trick, but then when it comes to Joker glitch, that, that one just goes up in difficulty by infinity, because it's like you're at the end of the game and you need to hit a one frame trick. Yeah, they have so. setups, but uh, again, the pre combined with the pressure and the amount of damage you have to deal to Joker in that short amount of time, it's just, you know, it multiplies. All right, Dexter making his way back through Act 3 here. He's still a little bit lower on weapons than he'd like to be, but he's going to go for the Dirk Strat regardless. Hopefully he gets a weapon pickup from one of these two enemies. He does not. Uh, so he's going to be in a little bit of tough shape here. But once again, health is good. So you got to, you know, the three resources you're managing in this game are your, your health, your weapon count, and of course the speed at which you're going. So you kind of have to balance all three of those. And... Dexter doing a very good job of that, but he, he needs the drops. He just hasn't been getting the drops so far today. And if we can go ahead and see him get to Act 4 again, I imagine we will solo him up, uh, as most of the other runners. Well, Rich is, Rich is in early Act 3, but Dexter is definitely, uh, definitely on a pace here. Yeah, we'll have to see... Uh... How he wants to continue with this ammo count because again looking looking oh, very low uh yeah coming into coming 13. into one. Yeah. <laughs> Unlu unlucky 13 unlucky 13. uh yeah so dexter oh he gets the good jumper pattern no he doesn't i'm sorry that's not that's the second best but he's still able to avoid him he really just needs a weapon drop and it's not coming come on all there, right there's he got, one he got Maybe. one he can get two more here from these enemies. There's another one. He's, he's gonna need more. <laughs> it's just never enough. 
uh, taking a nice intentional hit there in his jump so that he doesn't get knocked back. He's going to need it from these guys. It's just it has to happen. And yeah, so, no. <laughs> so yeah, that's the thing. Like, You always want weapon drops because you be constantly killing, killing enemies. So like, it's sort of like hitting the jackpot over and over and over again when you get like on a good run in this game. Uh, just you just keep getting weapon drops, you keep getting health drops, and uh, it's really it's really tough, uh, especially to, to maintain uh, the paces that these guys go at in the race. They all got sub sub eleven, which is amazing, amazing to me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, crazy stuff. Uh, Dexter is on 15 weapons here, so he's gonna take a shot. Wow, he gets a double weapon drop from those guys. That is so rare. So he's actually in okay shape now. He's gonna take double damage there to save a little bit of time. And if he can get a couple more weapon drops, he may be able to get to the end of the game. I think uh, at this point, he's gonna have to go for the Diggler. This is not a skip Diggler pace, so he's gotta switch to the Dirt. We're gonna see what he does here. And uh, oh, he doesn't get it, and there's the reset. Tragic end to the run. There, yep, the Diggler, one of the toughest tricks. Uh, I almost feel like in certain setups, it's it's just unwinnable. Like if you don't hit the Dirk, because the Dirk kind of freezes the the spike car in place. And if you don't freeze it in the right spot, then I don't think you can actually hit the punch. So I'm not sure if. I guess it's the timing of both the, the Dirk and the Punch have to be maybe with done within uh, two frame windows, but yeah, we're, uh, we're, we're back to square one, man. We're back to square one. But yeah, uh, in Dexter's uh, world record run, he actually he was on such a good pace that he actually skipped that trick, and uh, it was kind of kind of impressive to to see him do that and still you know come out ahead. Yeah, yeah, he's he's he may be getting a little bit frustrated at this point. He's had two really good paced runs, and they've just kind of had tragic endings. But that's what happens in this game. Um, so here yeah. you see Dexter. He's at the top here, and there are these jetpack these jetpack enemies, and they also have some RNG. This game is riddled with RNG, obviously. So uh, those jetpack enemies, they can uh, come down and attack you right away, which you want or they can delay a little bit and uh, that will just mess you up uh, just ever so slightly. So early game by everybody and some somebody has pointed out that I, uh, I, I did not spell my own name correctly in one of the layouts <laughs> when I was hastily throwing it together. So uh, yeah, this is the correct spelling here. Uh, I am Sinister1 and I am here with Just Defend. Hello, uh, everyone. Who, who has a very good time in this game, I might add. I believe you have a sub 1030, if I'm not mistaken. That's right. I have a, sub, I have a 1027, so uh, nothing on these guys, uh, of course, but uh, Sweden, they just got, they just have the Batman in their blood. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's incredible to watch uh, these guys play this game. Uh, as we see Andy, he is taking on the stage two boss uh, using his batarangs and uh, his weapons, and then on the last phase, just avoiding the bullets and just getting right in there and punching it to death. Uh, doesn't get a very good jumper pattern. He took some intentional damage. The second jumper was much nicer to him. Handling it nicely. I, I like what he's doing here, and he's got plenty of weapons. I believe this is Andy's first crack at Act 3, if I'm not mistaken. He's been in the early game for a while, but... Uh, the jumpers are giving him favorable patterns here, so he's going to be moving on. So yeah, he is out of 3-2, uh, proceeding through these sewers, and uh, yeah, everything's looking good. He's really good on, on ammo and health. He just needs to get past these two jumpers here, and uh, he should be in the clear. There it is. And there it is. He's passed, so he's going to be moving on as well. Um, I I think he's he's okay with his health, but it, it certainly wouldn't hurt if he got at least one health drop in this next stage here. Um, ideally, you want to go into Act 4 with full health, but that does not always happen. So let's see, that's a points drop, and he is going to go ahead and use the Dirk strategy, and executes it very, very nicely, does not take a hit. So he's in good enough shape here, he can go for cog skips if he wants. Yeah. Um... It'll be kind of low on health, but uh, should should be fine, uh, especially for 
world record attempts, PB attempts. Uh, these guys, they don't hold back. They, they're just gonna go. They're gonna go with whatever health they have and uh, uh, roll with the punches. As we see, this cog skip done very well right there. Everything here is just uh, as precise as it can be. <laughs> you know, uh, nice. these these jumps and uh, landing where they want to be. Uh, very nice, very nicely done by Andy, and he gets a heart there, which is really key, because he's going to have to take two additional hits here, as we've seen some of the other players do in this fight. Uh, he's using a slightly different strategy, where he just opens with uh, Batarang. This is kind of a, a new strat, but it works well, and he's still got tons of weapons and tons of health, so if he gets a good pattern here, he could be moving on pretty deep in this run here. And wow. That's Decent enough pattern. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't not a good pattern at all. The the jumper just stayed in his way, but he dealt with it so well. I'm very impressed with how, how he did that. Uh, basically, he used two dirks, and then as soon as he got close to the jumper, he started punching it, and then he had to jump to avoid this little uh, enemy that came from down from the ceiling. And uh, as long as he gets some health uh, coming into uh, this screen here. And uh, you can see him, he's, he's trying to kill as many enemies as he can to uh, get some health drops. Uh, he's on some pretty, he's on a good, pretty good pace here. Oh yeah. Say. Oh yeah, he is. He entered uh, this at 6.30, which is definitely a good pace. And you can see he's just burning through those dirks because he's got them. So you might as well use him. Picks up a nice health drop there. And he's going to be in great shape moving on to the next stage. He can use this gun strat we haven't even seen yet, I don't think, because nobody's at ammo at this point. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so and... one thing here is, uh, yeah, he's intentionally taking damage. That's way faster than doing a wall jump to avoid those uh, little hazards there. And looks like he's going to skip taking damage in this first part here, and he's going to clear out that proximity mine with his gun. And uh, we'll see what he opts to do here. He can he can go for the dirt diggler strat, or uh, yeah, looks like he's got it switched on, and we just got to see him get it. And here he goes. He's got it! Hits the Diggler, first one to do so in our run so far. So can he maintain? This is another tricky spike car that he deals with quite nicely. Gets the jump, and he is out of harm's way. So he's going to be using some tricky uh, strats with the Batarang here on these tanks to move through really quickly. I believe actually Cypher developed these strats. He was looking into running this game at one point, and he came up with some cool strats, but uh, never got around to doing runs. So. Andy's going to need some help on the cubes here. This cube boss can give you a couple different patterns, and he's going to need a favorable one because with his health this low, he could just die immediately, and there's nothing he can do about it. So we'll see. Yeah, as, he start, as you start this fight, he's going to start throwing some batterings uh, into the first cube, and he wants to eliminate that first cube as Ooh. quickly as possible. He takes some damage there. He's about to die. He gets a, gets good, a good pattern. Good pattern on the second <laughs> one. Basically, that second cube can just fly all the way to the left, and uh, you have to you have to finish it off with uh, your gun. All right. But it stopped right in front of him, and he was able to take care of it with his with his fists, which is the fastest thing possible. And a uh, little low on health, but Andy, he's he's feeling it. He's coming into this clock tower. Yeah. This is some good pace right here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. He is good to go here as long as he can make these tight jumps. These really really tight jumps are one of the few places that you could potentially take damage. So starting right now, uh, and he's already had to kind of slow down just a little bit. So tight jump number one, he gets it. And again, if he gets to Firebug and he's able to get him in the magical position, then he's going to finish this run. And we are going to have a chance to see. I think he could PB from this. I don't know. I don't know if he's on world record pace, but I think he can definitely get a PB. So here we go. Final ascent. And he's going into Firebug. Alright, again, he has to find this magical pixel. It's over onto the right. Looks like he takes some damage at the beginning. He's got him. He just has to keep the rhythm of the Batarangs now. And Firebug will be down. And Firebug is down. So I think Andy is going to need to go for the Joker glitch here in order to get the best possible time. So he's going to have to delay a little bit and try to hit Joker when the lightning is about to strike. Here we go. Oh, looks oh, like... Ah, didn't get it. Yeah, did not get it. Didn't quite get it. Doesn't... What a run, though. Oh, my yeah. goodness. 10, get 12. 
three seconds off uh, of his PB, I believe. So that would have been, if he had gotten Joker glitched there, that would have been a 10.08, I believe. Because yeah. uh, that was a very low, he might have even split late. That was a, a very low 10.12. Great run by Andy Swee. Man, wow, that was that was a ride. He needed that Joker glitch, and it's, it's frame perfect. What can you say? Yeah. It's a frame perfect trick. Well, everyone, welcome to Chase for the Record. Uh, I hope we see more runs like that because that that's as, about as good as it gets with uh, Batman. Yeah, that's what we're looking for, and we're going to see these guys getting on paces like that. Um, Andy is the, the first person to actually complete a run, and he actually uh, completed it so quickly that he did uh, beat the PBs of two of our other competitors, Rich and Bad Breaks, who were tied at 10.15. So that just shows you the, the quality of that run that he just finished there. He, he's got to be feeling some confidence, don't you think? Yeah, I think so. I think he's been feeling it for the last few days because just, uh, I don't know, just the way he's talking, the way he's been playing, you know, uh, once once you're you're hot in this game, you, you don't ever want it to go away. So No. Uh, yeah, <laughs> especially not. because this game, like, there's so much randomness to it, like, uh, anything could happen, but uh, yeah, once you got it going on, uh, you, you are the Batman. You, you can finish the game as fast as possible. Absolutely. And the one notable difference we saw there for Andy is he was getting the drops. So unlike Dexter, who's had two good attempts so far and not gotten the drops, Andy did get a ton of weapon drops and, and a few key health pickups there at the end. Uh, and he executed very well, too. I mean, he did get Firebug in the magical position, uh, albeit maybe not in the fastest manner, I believe. What happens is Firebug has a couple different ways he can start the fight. He can either throw a fireball, which I think is what these players want now with this new strat they have, or he can rush you. Uh, and if he rushes you, then you're going to lose time. But if he throws the fireball, you can kind of take some intentional damage um, while jumping into the fireball, and it won't knock you back, and then you can get him in the magical position, like, right away. Um, so hopefully we'll see that at some point today. But for now, we have all of our players uh, fairly early game, other than Bad Breaks. Bad Breaks has uh, made his way into 3-2 here. So hopefully he can take care of these jumpers and keep it going. Yeah, it looks like uh, he took some damage from that first jumper near the bottom there. Uh, he has to watch out for the spike arc, and uh, he takes another hit. But uh, his health's still looking pretty good. Um, just, uh, just got, got, uh, you know, had to slow down a little bit because you know taking damage coming into uh, this climbing section here. And uh, his ammo is in good shape, uh, and he's good to go. He got some health right there, and. Uh, he might be farming more enemies uh, to see what sort of drops he can get. Yeah, so. yeah bad, bad breaks again, taking those more aggressive strats, and that time it doesn't pay off as he gets knocked back by the spike car, but he did get a, a weapon drop, so I guess it's kind of 50-50 on that. So, you know, you're, you're, you're losing time and gaining weapons. Again, it says three resources you got to manage, right? He lost the health and the time, but he gained the weapon. So, what you know, what's the, what's the final outcome? We'll see, but he is going for cog skips and getting them. So yeah. looks like he'll be moving on to Act Four for the first time today. So Bad Breaks really the only one that is on any type of run right now. Let's hope he, that he can he can finish one. Yeah, the biggest the biggest risk of doing those cog skips is if you mess that up and you get hit by the cogs, you will not get your wall jump. You will just fall straight down, and it's huge time loss. Bad breaks, taking care of the boss, uh, right. very quickly, very well done, and he's moving on to four one. He has a very bad uh, jumper pattern right there, but uh, he ops. It was very interesting. He took some damage there, but he turned Batman around so that it would hit him to the to the right. So uh, interesting, some interesting variation in the, in the strats here. He is getting some ammo drops, but this jumper is not being nice yeah. whatsoever. Did not handle the jumper as well as he needed to there, but he's still on a decent enough pace here. Uh, he's going to have to play really, really well towards the end of this run. Uh, but you can see he's using the gun strat there, uh, using a punch strat, so he does save himself some weapons instead of using too much of the dirk, and that could pay off later in Act 5 if he gets a bit of a drought, which we've seen uh, happen to several of our players so far, just the long weapon droughts, but he's actually getting the drops. Yeah, I think well, right now his ammo looks very good. He would prefer to have some health going in uh, to this next area. 
and uh, he's gonna he's gonna intentionally take he damage is, there. He is still gonna take the damage. Uh, bad breaks. You know, he's gonna have to he's gonna have to not take damage here, uh, which I don't know which would have really been faster to be honest. Like, I, it's probably six of one half dozen the other, but. Uh, we know he's going to go for the Diggler strat. It's his strat, first of all, and second of all, it's bad break, so you know he's he's not going to back off of the strat as he gets another weapon drop. Needs a heart. Oh! Denied on the Diggler. But it looks like he may go ahead and just kind of finish this run up, or maybe he just wants to, another crack at the, the Diggler so that he can get his confidence back up. And yeah. That time he, yeah, that time he does hit, and he gets a heart, too. <laughs> Maybe he will keep going. Why not? Why not? You know, sometimes it's good to just finish out a run. It's good for your confidence and just mentally to kind of be like, okay, I can, I can do this. I can beat this game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, definitely. Another heart. That was key. Uh, he can now tank a little bit of damage here in this next section because he is... Oh, has to pass on that heart, though, to save time. But he is able to get up to the top, so... We're gonna see what the cubes have for him. He he could just this could be the very end right here. I I think he may reset. Well, he just took the hit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it looks like I guess looks, he'd had enough there. <laughs> looks like uh he went for the the strat that we call the swaggering. So yes. basically, the way that you jump over that shredder enemy, uh, you jump and you throw a battering, and what's gonna happen is the battering is gonna swing around and it's gonna hit uh this enemy that falls from the ceiling. And uh, he did not get that strat, so the, the, the thing came and hit him from behind. He does not get his chance at the cubes. As, uh, we are moving on to so watch Andy here. He is uh, foregoing the cog skip. Again, his health is very low. You need to take some damage against this boss at the end, the electrocutioner, uh, in order to get a quick kill. And uh, is, he is moving on. Uh, not avoiding all of the cogs, and here he is at the Electrocutioner doing uh, this strat that I have never seen before. Uh, so this is, uh, this is very, very cool to see uh, a difference in how he does the boss fights. So a little bit of a change up this time around. He's got the the, the weapons, but he doesn't have the 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 health. Um, or actually, didn't he had he had more weapons in this situation last time? I'm sorry. That's correct. Yeah. Um, but he's still. He's still in good shape, I would say. I mean, this is, you know, not not the ideal amount of weapons that you want right here, but as long as this isn't double points. Oh, double weapons. Well, right on time. Uh, ooh, a little bit of a misfire with that Dirk there, but it didn't come back to bite him. So, uh, and we did have a, a, a sub in the chat there. I believe it was SF Firestorm. Thank you very much for supporting the channel here. Speed Gaming, of course, uh, the place to find... All the best tournament action. We have the Link to the Past randomizer tournament going on. There's the Banjo Kazooie tournament. I think the Mega Man 3 finals uh, will be coming up soon, and lots of other good stuff. And don't forget to follow here, and also follow Speed Gaming 2 because there are so many tournaments that uh, that we actually have to have a, a second Speed Gaming channel to show all the <laughs> all the matches. Um, but back to the action. It looks like Endy has not gotten real favorable drops so he is a little short on weapons but he's gonna be moving along yeah he, he's low on weapons he but he did get some health drops so uh, he, he will be just taking this uh, all of this damage here and it's gonna be maybe diggler time let's see um he's gonna use punch strats there loses just a little bit of time and he does pull out that dirk so we're going for the diggler and getting it! Wow! Great job there. Uh, fantastic stuff by Andy Swee. Yeah, this whole section here um, after the Diggler is also no gimme either. Because those platforms are very small. And uh, it looks like he's he's, gonna, he's getting low on health. He's going to have to avoid some, taking some of this damage here. But he gets a Woo! nice little hard drop. Nice uh, drop luck. We need, we need the cube luck now. Uh, yeah. So again, this is uh, this is chase for the record. These guys are all going for a world record. That's why you see them all in different places. This is not a race. Uh, so Andy, furthest along. That's why we're focused on him. And let's see if he gets the right pattern that he needs. Unfortunately, oh, it does. It looks like he did get a good enough pattern. And he takes out the first cube early. Okay, second cube. 
Uh, not the right pattern, but he is going to make it to Act 5, so... Could be finishing his second run in about 30 minutes. I mean, this is yeah. impressive gameplay here by Andy Sweet. Yeah, he, he's he's showing he's showing these uh these other Swedes how how it's done. So uh, so far, yeah. yeah, he needs some weapons though. 22 is not going to be enough to take down Firebug, and he takes a very aggressive line there, using that double dirk, hoping for a weapon drop, and it does not appear that he got one. So he's going to need some on the climb, and you don't really kill too many enemies here. So this could be one of those very unfortunate situations where he doesn't have enough weapons going into Firebug as he gets a health drop there, but that's not going to help him. He needs the weapon drop, and he needs it immediately. Yeah, uh, at the end of this stage, you want to have at least like 20 to 25 weapons when you fight Firebug. So uh, he's... he's He's farming uh, these last few enemies here uh, in hopes that he will get the drop that he needs. He's switching, and it looks like he, he'll be oh, good. Oh, I don't know. He might, Okay, he got it. Yeah, he got. he's up to 32. He's that should up be to just 32. enough. Yeah. That should be just enough. Let's see. And he gets a good pattern there from Firebug. Gets him in the magical position again, and he should have just enough Batarangs to take him down. He does. He's got two left. And we're moving on to Joker. This could be a PB for Envy. He's, I think, again in the situation where he needs the Joker glitch. Frame perfect hit as Joker strikes lightning. Can he get it right here? Ooh, that was close. That was close. Ah, he didn't get it. Looks like he's <laughs> not gonna get a PB. Oh my goodness. 10 11. How is he doing this? One second what is this? improvement over the, the last completed over the run. Previous run. Andy is just amazing. He's on fire right now, man. He he needed that Joker glitch both times, but wow, the execution is just oh, it's it's top tier right now for Andy Sweet. Yeah, so you gotta love it. At the pace he's going, you know, he completes maybe three or three or more runs. He's gonna eventually get. He's gonna beating. get one. Yeah. yeah, he's gonna get one. One of these so, times, he's gonna. Hit. He was so close too, man. I swear, he could. He must have only been a frame or two off of getting that Joker glitch. Yeah, it, it looked yeah. really close to me. I don't know what you saw, but it looked pretty close. So again, yeah, that Joker glitch. Uh, just to reiterate how it works, it's uh, basically at the same time you defeat Joker. If he's calling the lightning, if he has his hand in the air, and the lightning comes down. Uh, right as you defeat him at the same time, the game will just, you'll see the lightning come down and uh, Joker will be defeated and the game just cuts to the, the end cutscene. You, know, you don't see, but usually what happens is uh, uh, during the game, Joker like falls to the ground and you see him like pretend like he's going to get back up, but then he goes, he just collapses again. That doesn't happen. It just goes, what the Joker glitch, it just goes straight to the the cutscene right to the end you you've uh, completed the game and i do believe that in uh infested rich the, the the personal best that he had just before he got uh his most recent one he did have a joker glitch as oh, well wow. so yeah, yeah it, it does actually happen in runs uh dexter has had it before when he has uh when he's gotten world record i believe it was when he got the 10 11 at the, at the time that that was world record um so yeah it can it can definitely happen yeah we're, we're not just making this up <laughs> it does it, it's a very it's a very interesting glitch that that uh it's very very hard to pull off but uh, the, these guys they do have setups but again it's just very it's very hard when you have to punch joker and have him do the right attack at the same time so yeah, but, uh, yeah we see, right now we're seeing uh Dexter going for these cog, cog skips, um, and uh, he's looking pretty good. I don't know where his ammo is at, but uh, he's going to be moving on to fight this boss. Yeah, looks like uh, he's on a decent pace, and Infested Rich working his way through Act 3 as well. Dexter again low on weapons though, man. He can't. He just can't seem to shake the luck today. It's really unfortunate. He's going to be moving on to Act 4, and this time he's in a little bit better shape than, than last time, but maybe only by a couple. <laughs> 26, that's not really where you want to be yet. But he does get a drop. Okay, so nice start for Dexter. Hopefully he can continue that luck. 
Yeah, again, as you can see, this uh, area in 4-1, there's just so many enemies, they're hoppers, it's just, uh, it's, it's a straight, it's a straight away, but like... It uh, gets a little nutty. Yeah, uh, it gets very nutty. He's handling it well, though, and he's on a really good pace, too. That's the thing, is like, you know, he, he just needs those weapon drops. Can he please get one? Come on, let's, in the chat, just, just throw, throw down something that <laughs> Dexter gets the weapon drop. We need that RNG, guys. And the hearts are not helping. He's got plenty of those. He's got the health. There is a weapon drop, but this, this may be a little bit too late. I don't know. We'll see. He's going to need more. 22 is just not enough at this point. 32. That's a little better. Uh, there's only so many opportunities for him to pick up weapons throughout the rest of this act. So he's going to have to get some. Yeah, and you see there at the end of 4-2, there's a little time-saving saving, time saving strat where he uses the dirt to stun those spike cars at the end, and then you can reach the uh, the ed the transition point before those spike cars come and get you. And uh, All right. this is the moment of truth here. <laughs> moment of truth. Can he hit it? Got it! All right, and we see some uh, Bless RNG going on in the chat. We need some more of that, man. We need some more Bless RNG so that Dexter can get these weapon drops. He's still a little bit short of what he needs. He should be able to complete the stage at least, but after that, it's going to be kind of dicey. And he has to forgo that one in the interest of time, unfortunately. So on the steps here is where he has the potential, and he has to forgo another. Hopefully he gets one here. Nope. All points. Yeah, he... Uh, as bad as it looks, he should be good. Uh, he just needs to avoid the, the last little guy there at the end, and now he's moving on to fight these uh, cubes. And uh, basically, for the first cube... And he gets the bad him. pattern. He gets yeah. the bad pattern, but he's handling it well. He might be able to salvage this. He's going to need the good pattern here. There's no way around it. He needs to have it, needs to have it now, and he gets it! Dexter, moving on. He is into Act 5. He's low on health. He's low on weapons, but he is not low on speed, my friends. This guy is on a good pace right now. Yeah, Batman doesn't slow down for anything. And uh, as you see there, there are some enemies that you can farm in the beginning here. And uh, looks like oh. he's coming up. Sure, he's getting some bonus points. So we don't, many points. So we don't many need points any bonus right now, here. Man. <laughs> so he's got, he needs maybe one more weapon drop, ought to be enough for him. That's all he needs is one more, and he's going to kill maybe three more enemies. Uh, so let's see, he might have gotten one there. We'll have to see once he switches. This is going to be tight, you guys, because he's going to have to use a Dirk here. And did he get a weapon drop there, maybe? Ooh, takes an unintentional hit. Yeah, it's really hard to tell uh, what ammo you're at when you when you want, when you're switching back to your, your fists to punch things, and the, the game does not tell you what ammo you're at. And he's on 21. Oh, there it is! He gets to 31. He's got just enough, but his health is in a bad spot. He's gonna need some help here on Firebug. And okay, if he gets him in the magical position, he's got him. He's got to hold it. He's got to hold it. Hold the rhythm. He lets him out. Don't let him out, Dexter. <laughs> One weapon, and he is going on to Joker here. This could be it, guys. This strat here with Joker, you, you just get right up, right up next to him. You make him turn around. Oh, is that the Joker glitch? Oh my God! No, he, he didn't not, get the Joker he glitch. Does not he got the Joker. amazing run, a 10-10. So we've seen back to back from Andy Sweet, 10, 12, 10, 11. And now a 10-10 from Dexter. This is this is insane. Dexter answering the call, telling Andy, hey, I could do some good runs of this game too, <laughs> you know? He, he's not gonna take he's not gonna let this <laughs> fellow sweet, you know, show him up. So. No, these guys are competitors. Believe it. Believe it. They are they are serious competitors in this game. So Dexter throwing Joker off the roof. With a time of 10-10, that's the best time we've seen so far today. Again, that is just a mere 4 seconds, probably even less than 4 seconds, off of his world record of 10.06. It's a very low 10.06 time that he has right now. So, even with Joker Glitch there, I don't know if he would have got it. It would have been really, really, really close. But, yeah, very. Uh, but what a run. Nice. What yep. a run. So, it looks like uh, some of our runners are, are taking a, a little bit of a break. Uh, we'll take this time to uh, 
uh, introduce uh, the other player here, Infested Rich. We're not gonna leave him, leave the spotlight off of him. Um, but uh, Rich, I, I know Rich best for his speedruns in the Ninja Gaiden series. Uh, oh, yeah. Other games such as Battle Kid, and uh, very recently he's been playing the PC game Almost Always Awakening. So he's right. a very talented speedrunner, and not just with just NES games. So uh, Rich has held formal former world records in games like uh, Gremlins 2 and Ninja Gaiden 3. He currently holds the record for Adventure Island 3, Always Awakening and Power Blade 1, as well as Power Blade 2. So those are just a few of his accomplishments. Uh, Rich, he may seem like an underdog today, but uh, listen, this guy can bring it in any game, so don't count him out. <laughs> yeah, he, he absolutely can, and he absolutely does. Uh, he's also played in uh, several marathon events. I believe he may even have a few games in, in SGDQ, I want to say. Yeah, I think so. So he's going to be coming out for that as well. And uh, yeah, he recently completed a follower special where he, he beat 60 NES games in a row. And he did this in uh, just around 19 hours, I want to say. It was uh, really, really incredible stuff. Uh, just, I mean, I don't think I've, I've beaten even like 60 games total. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> And he just beat 60 games in a row. So yeah, Infested Rich, definitely uh, definitely a top player for sure. And uh, he's he's actually got himself a run going, and so does Andy Suisa. So do all these guys. They're kind of all moving past uh, past Act 2 here, hopefully. This could be the first time we see like everybody getting past Act 2 in the same time. Yeah. So yeah, I'm seeing. It. I'm noticing uh, some difference in the strats here. Again, might be ammo management, uh, but uh, some of, some of these guys they're they're killing certain enemies, or they're just they're attacking them at just the right time so that they can move through them unharmed. And uh, it's it's very very cool to see uh, what their preferences are. Yeah, very very minor differences in a lot of the strats for these guys, but ultimately, you know, they're all capable of getting the lowest time it's just a matter of you know do i want to take this risk here or take another risk later on or you know what's it going to be um i think that dexter may be the only player that actually will forego the diggler strat that we've seen be so uh disastrous a few times already in our right. runs today uh if he's on the right pace then he will use a gun strat which loses just a little bit of time there but ensures that your run survives which some sometimes that's what you need to do i think that you know, sometimes you got to make that short-term sacrifice to make sure you get a crack at the world record. Because you know, if you if you lose it on Diggler, then you're never going to even see yeah. Firebug and Joker. I, I, I agree. The, the Diggler is such a uh, it's it's very inconsistent sort of thing. But uh, it's, it's when you get it, you can feel the time that you save. But uh, again, it's just the trade-off. Yeah, I, I mean, I'd say it's less than a second for sure on the on the Diggler strat. You're you're not even saving a full second, but the run is optimized to the point where, like, it is a consideration of you know, do I need these frames? Do I not need these frames? And um, Dexter's been on some crazy, crazy paces where he's just like, nope, don't need the frames right now. Let's just get to the end. <laughs> yeah. So here we see Andy. He's moving on in the sewer stage. He's getting uh, some really good hopper patterns. Uh, they are being very favorable for him. And uh, it looks like he is going to make it out of 3-1. Will he get this transition jump? He does not get it. I've only seen, uh, I, guess, I believe, Dexter or or Rich uh, get yeah, the yeah. transition jump. <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think they both got it. And again, that's a frame perfect trick. It saves very, very little time. It's, it's mostly for the swag. Uh, and there's no harm in going for it. You lose absolutely nothing by uh, by going for it. You're just attempting a mid-air jump, and if you don't hit it, then it's just the same as what you know what normally would happen. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Andy Sui, uh, I would say that he's probably been the most consistent runner today, just with how many times he's gotten into the the later stages of the game. I mean, this is this could potentially be the third or fourth time that he's entering into Act Four. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, he's looking real good. Uh, something you may have all noticed, uh, these spike car enemies, anytime that you're on the same horizontal plane, 
of them, they start to move uh, a bit faster. So these guys, they're trying to manipulate the spike cars uh, so that they don't hit you when you land. And uh, looks like Andy is taking it uh, very well, and he's going to go for these cog skips. Getting, getting both of them. Yeah, getting both of them. So he's in good shape. His weapons, they're kind of low. He could be doing a lot better on weapons, but uh, he'll be taking on this boss very shortly. Yeah, and he will have the health at least, so that's one good thing. And his strategy kind of pays off a little bit here, because since he does use all Batarangs, he does save just a little bit of weapons over the other players uh, that use the Dirk. They use a double Dirk opening, which costs six, versus uh, his opening, which is pretty cheap. So, But he is going to need that weapon drop, and he's going to need it right away. Might have to think about taking out a few extra enemies? I'm not sure, no? Uh, he's going to get a health drop, so he may have to do some punch in here. Uh, I would have punched those guys down. Uh, he's going to punch these guys instead. And he is going to be yet another player that's just been done dirty by the drops in this game. He's going <laughs> to have to reset. Act 4, denying Dexter multiple times, uh, denying Endy there. And I, I think we saw maybe Rich or Bad Breaks get denied uh, by the drop luck as well. Brutal stuff. Yeah, we're watching uh, and, uh, Dexter right now, who takes a hit uh, on the second phase of this boss, the big machine, and uh, that's going to cost him some time, and he will just opt to reset. Yeah, no need to mess around here. Again, these guys are all going for world record, everyone, so you know you may see these frequent resets, but that's what it takes when it's a game that's this optimized. Uh, so we're going to be showing you attempts for at least another few hours and uh, hopefully one of these guys will get at least a personal best or the world record in fact as we've already seen three completed runs that were all very very close to record as we single up uh, or sorry we're gonna double bad breaks and rich here both of them uh, moving along in act two so again using that neutral jump strat you see bad breaks kind of being able to well he gets hit there um, but being able to bypass that section a little bit quicker yeah, th these wall jumps are very hard to get. Again, they're trying to get this jump at the precise spot where they can uh, just jump straight up, uh, and it's it's very difficult to do without falling into that electric floor. Yeah, absolutely. You only have a few pixel windows. That's, I mean, all of these old NES games. You know, everything's so tight. You only have a few pixels or a few frames to do a lot of these tricks, and you know. Were the, were the programmers just that hardcore that they really wanted to make it tough on kids playing these games? Or maybe they just didn't want people to attempt these kind of things. And they're like, all right, well, if there's only one frame you can do it on, then nobody will even bother, right? Like, <laughs> Yeah. Yes. So as we see, it looks like Rich is going to be... That breaks in the door at 339. Rich is going to be on a slightly better pace here at a 335 door. Uh, but both of them going to advance. Bad Breaks may reset. I don't know. He's His, his fight's looking a little sketchy. Uh, he just ekes out a one-rounder, so he's going to keep going. He's going to press on. Yeah. Um, the key to that last phase is to finish off that uh, weak, weak spot in one go before it retracts and goes back into attack mode. And uh, looks like Bad Breaks. He gets a bad very breaks. bad jumper pattern. Bad Breaks having the bad luck in this case, and so is Rich. That jumper is chasing him down, but he manages to get away just in time. That jumper you can actually manipulate. No matter what pattern you get there, you're okay. So it's really those initial jumpers that you need to get past and worry about. But Rich is going to be moving on here, so he's going to go for the swag jump. Frame perfect trick. Doesn't get it. That's okay. He's good on weapons. He's good on health. So Rich with some potential here to get a good run going. Another weapon drop. And that's a very scary jump there, uh, coming towards that that last hopper. You have to jump and then, like at the peak, uh, throw a dirk so that uh, the dirk will hit that jumper, and you'll be able to pass through without taking damage. And it's 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 very it's, it's uh, it looks very risky. Oh yeah, a lot of risky strats in this game. Uh, so rich. Looks like he's going to be advancing here. Uh, does get through that first section, which is a little tricky. Uh, not that the rest of the stage is trivial, but I, I feel like that first section is really where 
things are the most dicey, and then, you know, maybe the cog skips, which I don't know if we've seen Rich go for them or not so far, so it'll be interesting to see. But Yeah, he has the health. Uh, I think uh, he's going to... Yeah, he's going for it. going to go ahead and to go for this uh, strat here. That saves some time. And he is going to make both of them. Wow, really nice stuff by Rich. And we're going to single him up and see what he can do in Act 4. It's his turn. Let's see if he can get a run finished. He's he's going to be one health short as long as he does this fight right uh, going into Act 4. But he's, he's decent on weapons. He's not great, but he's decent. He's in the 30s. Um, so he, he'll, he'll need just a few weapon drops here. Yeah, it's all, it's all going to be about this first hopper that comes at him. And, uh, and it's not a good pattern. Worst yeah. pattern. And he's having trouble handling him, but he does eventually get away. Hopper's still chasing him down, and he's going to have to take a reset there. The jumpers are just... They're just too strong sometimes, man. Yeah. You just, you know... It's like, what are you, what are you going to do? Um, but yeah, those those guys really just... They, ha they basically have different uh, size jumps that they can do, and you don't really know which one they're going to do until... I don't want to say it's too late, because you have a very, very quick time that you have to react in, but but it does get pretty dicey. So, yeah. so anyhow, uh, we can see Andy has once again advanced. He is coming towards the end of Act 3. Seems to be a little bit short on weapons, though. Uh, he does have the health, so he is most likely going to be going for cog skips here in just a few moments. Yeah. And nobody else is really too, too far in. So it looks, looks like Endy is our main guy to focus on right now. Hopefully he gets these cog skips. Yeah. As long as he clears these cogs, uh, we'll be moving on to take on this boss. This is, ammo is not in the best of shape. But uh, when, you, when you're doing attempts of these games, uh, you just take, take what you can and uh, hopefully the luck gives you what you need later on in the game. And here we go, Andy is going to be moving on to the boss and hopefully into Act 4 once again. Weapon situation, not terrific though, gonna need a little bit of help, 34. Uh, a good jumper pattern would, would, would get him on the way to possibly getting through 4-1. And he gets a middle, that's a mediocre jumper pattern, he's at least not taking damage, but it's going to be hard to shake that guy now. He does get him off the screen, so he's despawned. Now he needs the weapon drops. He gets points. Two more shots at it right here. Double hearts. And he is in trouble now because he's going to have to burn some of those weapons to deal with these jumpers. And, ooh. Finally gets a weapon drop, but he had to sacrifice a lot of time there. He is again on that 630 pace, which is about the pace he was on last time. So he's still in this thing. Yeah, it's just drops. really impressive uh, to see uh, how, how consistent he is. And he's going with some different strats here. Uh, wow, very, very fortunate not to take a hit from the flamethrower guy there. And uh, he, is, he is just moving along. He's going to need an ammo drop. Uh, doesn't look like he's going to get it. He gets one finally, gets, but, it's, yeah. but it's maybe too late. Um, he's on 12, so health situation not great either. You really you need to have something. You've got to either have like great health or, or great weapons or just be on a great pace, and he's kind of struggling on all three, so Looking he's going to have some... to take it slow. Yeah, so he farmed those two spike cars at the end. Looking for a drop there, but he got didn't nothing. Get yeah, yeah those, those two spike cars are double points almost every time, I swear. I was so shocked to see double weapons in one of the earlier runs. <laughs> yeah. So... Diggler time. Nicely played. Again, these guys, uh, we've only I, we've seen it maybe uh, quite a handful of times, and uh, I guess maybe only one of them being missed. So these guys, they, they've been working on the Diggler. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Really top tier execution here, but Andy, again, he just he needs the weapons. There's no way around it. He can tank the health here. He even gets another health drop, which is it's all fine and finally a double weapon drop for Andy just what he needed in the nick of time he was down to his last weapon yeah so if, he, he he gets if, one just in time yeah if he didn't have uh, 
more than 10 here against this boss, it would have just not have gone well. This boss takes a lot. Uh, you can see he's punching the boss right here, but right now you see him, he's switching. And as yeah, soon as the boss, yeah. Punch. Yeah, he's going for the punch stress. So he had to sacrifice a lot of time there just because of how low on weapons he is. And that might have taken him out of contention to get record at this point, but he's going to go ahead and finish up anyway in Act 5 here. He's probably going to have another very solid run on his hands as long as he's able to finish this off. And he does get some weapon drops finally, so being at 31 here uh, needs just a little bit more health isn't going to do it. Uh, he's got about maybe five more enemies that, are, that give him a chance at it. And 35, he should be good at this point, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I think so. Um, again, in his pace... Looking very good, sub 1020 pace maybe. But uh, these jumps here, in those any of these gears that you see, those will deal damage to you. And uh, if you don't get the right jump, you are falling straight down. You're gonna take like two damage for any sort of mistake right there. He is just, they are very precise. He's just nailing everything, uh, perfect as can be. And he gets another weapon drop there just in case, but taking the fall, that's, that's costing him more time, which uh, even with Joker Glitch, I think I think this is going to be a little short. But a really another great run. He gets wow, he he gets him in magical, but then lets him out. See if he can get him back in it. Look out now! You need you, you have Firebug will hit you quick, man. But he gets him. He gets him down. Uh, so Joker usually going to take a little bit more than the time that any needs, as we see. World record would have been right there. Maybe yeah, we'll see a like, Joker glitch, though. Yeah, I think... Um, oh, that was a close one. No, didn't quite get it. Didn't nah. quite get it. It is a one-frame trick, but we are going to get to see another sub-1020. This time a 1018 from Andy, his third completed run. I mean, this is just... This is unbelievable. I can't... I cannot fathom the execution that I'm seeing right now from Andy Sweet. It's, it's really just out of control. Yeah, he's, he's really feeling it. Uh, it's showing no signs of, of stopping. <laughs> so, um, yeah, look look forward to more attempts of Andy. As, yeah, he's uh, he's gonna take a quick break here. Well deserved break. Uh, as, a, as a matter of fact, he yeah. he needs it, man. He's been he has just been going at it. So, I mean, all these guys are, but they're used to it. They're used to the grind. You know, all these guys have had various world records and. Lots of different games, so this isn't anything uh, new to them. But it does take a little bit of a toll after a while, I would say. You know, yeah. putting this grind on. Definitely, uh, yeah, the speedrun of this game uh, just combines a lot of very different things. Like, it's not a, it's not exactly as fast-paced as maybe a Ninja Gaiden game, but uh, it does require maybe some of the execution where you have to mash, you have to time everything just very, very well, and uh, these jumps are, are very precise. As we see uh, Dexter, he is moving all along through 3-2, uh, going through these sewers, and uh, he's past these hoppers. He Looks to be in good shape health-wise, and uh, we're going to get a good look of his ammo uh, as he comes into 3-3, three, three, making all of those wall jumps to get to the end transition. This is a very good uh, ammo count for Dexter. Uh, unfortunately, he's getting knocked back by this tank. Uh, that tank will shoot a projectile out, and uh, as soon as he landed, the projectile hit him and knocked... Uh, uh, Batman backwards, which uh, you don't want that. <laughs> no, no, you do not want to be going backwards in this game, ever. Uh, only forwards, that is the way of all speed games. Well, I guess there's maybe a few small instances where that might not be true. Sure, yeah. sure. <laughs> For the most part. Let's see if he can get cog, cog skips yet again. I've been amazed by the consistency of these guys in terms of getting this cog skip trick because it's really, really tight. Like, you pretty much have to be at the absolute peak of your jump when you do the wall jump. Uh, for each of those cycles there, and Dexter getting both cog skips yet again. So no health or ammo drop there. Unfortunately, he is going to be in bad shape going into Act 4. Once again, this has kind of been the story for Dexter all day long, and you just got to feel for the guy. He's taking a little bit of damage, and uh, he just barely survives that boss fight. 
And V is moving on into 4 1. He needs to get past this jumper. To see what he gets. Not a good pattern, unfortunately. He does a nice little trick there to try to get one of the spike cars down, but it's not going to be enough, and Dexter is going to go ahead and reset once again. So you, you just have to imagine, it's only a matter of time before Dexter does eventually get a run on pace where he has enough weapons going into Act 4. It's going to happen, and when it does, he's going to take advantage of it for sure. So we see Bad Breaks and Rich once again uh, coming through Act 2. Rich getting not the greatest door time there, but uh, he's still on an okay pace uh, as long as he can take the boss down relatively quickly here. Yeah, perhaps the, the grind is uh, taking a little bit of a toll on, on some of the players. You can see the fatigue of uh, doing constant attempts uh, yeah. over and over again. But uh, hopefully uh, these guys have... Uh, a little bit of life left in them, and they can see them uh, improve their PBs, perhaps get a record as we see Rich, he's just going to reset the game after not getting a good pattern there. Yeah, he's going to have to take another reset. So once again, uh, you're watching Chase for the Record on Speed Gaming, and Speed Gaming is your channel for all the best tournament action and other competitive stuff. There's a special coming up called the... Super 16 in which uh, players are going to race against each other in 16 of the best Super Nintendo games uh, with different goals in each game and see who can come out on top. If you've ever watched the Big 20, which is an NES competition, it's going to be kind of similar to that. should be pretty exciting to watch, so make sure you give the channel a follow. If you're watching out there on the front page, come on in to chat. Uh, give us some bless RNG. We need it, man. These guys have been having bad luck today. Uh, and we would like to welcome you in and have you watch some more Batman NES going for the record here. Yeah, despite the bad luck, we have had some really good runs completed, but uh, both of them, uh, like, we had three runs completed by Andy and uh, Dexter with one completed run, so uh, we're looking to see uh, some of these other guys, Bat Breaks and Defensive Rich, uh, get on the paces that they need, get the drops they need, and uh, hopefully they'll, they'll finish out a run today. Yeah, I think uh, we'll definitely see all of our players finish at least one run, hopefully. Um, it depends. Some Sometimes I, I've seen players reset in Act 5, and I've seen players just will be like, okay, I'll just finish out this run. So sometimes yeah. it just depend, depends on how you feel mm -hmm. at, at one point. Um, but yeah, we see Bad Breaks is uh, in nice shape with his weapons here. Uh, it gets an unfortunate pattern from that tank, so he has to lose a little bit of time. But, nonetheless, he is closing in on Act 4, and I think he's only seen Act 4 maybe once or twice? Yeah, uh, it, has, it hasn't been very many. <laughs> uh, again, showing the difficulty uh, of this game, even for speedrunners, because the, the RNG is such a huge factor. And to be fair, we we should mention that uh, Bad Breaks had kind of taken a, a fairly long hiatus from this game and only recently got back into doing like pretty serious attempts. So he he's de-rusted recently. Um, so you know he's, he's his consistency may not be what uh, you know the players like like Endy and Dexter have been playing this game much more frequently would be. But he's still got that skill level. So he just he needs a little bit of luck and needs things to go his way just a little bit, and he will get himself on a very good run as we see him finishing off the Electrocutioner. Uh, and he is going to be advancing to Act 4. That's a very good pattern right there from the jumper. Basically, as soon as uh, the jumper ho hops at you, you throw the Dirk, and then what will happen is the, the jumper will be stunned uh, just long enough that once you start moving again, it won't chase you, so it just hops straight up, and uh, Dexter, or Bad Breaks, excuse me, uh, trying to get past this oh, last man. guy. And wow. that, last, that last one just had his number. He was having a really good 4-1 until that guy showed up, but uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that just shows the powers of the jumpers, and the, the very first jumper in that stage can cause a lot of lag as well. Uh, these NES games, you know, you, there can only be so many sprites on the on the screen at the same time before the game starts to lag, and that's one of the sections 
where you will traditionally see more lag. So that breaks keeping it going. He does have enough weapons to keep this run going. The health situation, not great. Does get a health pickup though. So he's, let's see how he handles this. Is he gonna take damage here? It looks like he is. So he's opting to do what he did the last. He's only gonna take one of them, uh, saving a little bit of time. And now let's see if he takes any damage in this section. No, he's going to forego, which I think is wise. Coming up to our favorite little trick in the game here, the Diggler. Named by Bad Breaks, as he's the one I believe that came up with the strat. So let's see if he can hit it this time. And he does! Very nicely done, and... Uh... Biggest concern for Bad Rex right now, he, he is very low on health. He, uh, the more health you have in this section, the faster you can go. So uh, he's looking for some health drops, hopefully, for some of these enemies. And he gets one. That's just what he needed. He had to take things a little bit slow there. Normally, you want to be more aggressive against these tanks, but he needed that health drop. He got that health drop. He gets another health drop. And as long as the cubes cooperate, this could be his first time seeing Act 5. So here at the start of the, the cubes fight, he's going to hit this left cube uh, as much as he can. And oh wow, he takes a hit. That's going to cost him some time. That he's is unfortunate. Damage. That and, is unfortunate. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Looks I like, think... Uh, that's going to be the end of his attempt. <laughs> but, oh no, um, looks like he might finish out here. And I, and I think it's a good idea too. Sometimes, you know, you get so hung up in those early stages that it's just, it's good to just complete a run just so that you're not having to be in stage one again. Like, just actually beating the game, you know, it just gives you a better feeling. So, yeah. uh, Bad Break's going to advance to, to stage five here. He's got full health, he's got full weapons. And it's it's also a little bit of good practice too, just because he hasn't seen five yet. You know, he's uh, I, I has Rich seen five? Yeah, actually, it's so I hard to keep track. Know. Yeah, it's so. so hard to keep track of of who has seen which stage. I mean, they all did the race earlier, which you know, so they all beat the game uh, when we started out. But yeah, a good confidence builder. Uh, it's just you know, go through these stages again. You know, feel get a feel for what you haven't seen and. Uh, and then the, the attempts yet. And Bad Breaks, it should be mentioned, has really helped develop a lot of the strategies in this game. He kind of he came on the scene back when Dexter and Funk Doc were competing heavily in this game and trading the record back and forth for quite a while uh, until Dexter finally won out. And during that period, Bad Breaks, he wasn't really streaming himself, but he he would find these little tricks and kind of share them with both the runners and they would, you know, make these small advances and, um, you know, the record would kind of get lower and lower as he found more of these strats. And he still continues to do that. As you can see, he's done a lot of the strats that you don't see other runners doing necessarily. So uh, really a lot of knowledge when it comes to bad breaks. And he's got Firebug in the magical position. As long as he can keep the rhythm, he is good. He does not keep the rhythm. Watch out for that fireball. Ooh, is that going to be a game over? No, okay. <laughs> yeah, so one big thing is if you take a game over against Firebug, uh, you will have to go back to the beginning when you restart. So uh, big, big uh, time loss, pretty much the end of a, any sort of a speedrun attempts. But uh, if you finish Firebug off, you'll be moving on to the Joker. You want to jump over these gunshots that Joker shoots at you because those gunshots, they do three damage each, I believe. and. Uh, you need to survive and get in Joker's face and finish him off with these punches. And we're not going to see a Joker glitch there. Uh, not, not in, The lightning was not striking anytime soon, but Bad Breaks gets to throw Joker off the roof, so hopefully that's going to get him in a better frame of mind as we see our other players, Dexter and Rich, pretty much mirroring each other there as they finish out Act 2. Andy, meanwhile, has advanced to Act 3, and he is again on a run. I mean, this guy just will not quit. He has completed three runs already, all of them sub-1020. Not counting, if you count the race, he's completed four runs. Uh, and he's got the weapons. He's a little short on the health, though. 
Yeah, so you can actually still fight the boss um, that's low with uh, like three life, uh, which he might end up with uh, coming out of this cog skip. He opts to skip the last cog, so uh, or he opts to not take damage from the last cog. So very interesting uh, change up there. I thought he was just gonna go straight for it, but. With I think health. it's a good choice. Yeah. I think it's a good choice with, uh, you know, going into Act 4 and, you know, that one extra health can really make the difference sometimes, so... Um, he also, it seems like he might take an extra damage in the boss fight than the other players do, because he took three damage there. Yeah. So, I'm not sure if, if his strategy is uh, meant to do that or not, but... Um, He's didn't get the favorable jumper pattern this time around, and he is going to need some kind of health drops as we move along here, and that's exactly what he gets. So hopefully a few more. He's really doing great on weapons. If he didn't get another weapon drop for the rest of the game, I think he'd probably still be able to finish at this point, and the jumpers are just not giving him any any luck at all. But, um, but he is getting deep into the run here, so Andy... Could be on his way to completing another one as we see Dexter is also approaching Act 4. So Endy and Dexter and Infested Rich as well approaching Act 4. So we've got three runs going concurrently here. Uh, that's the great thing about Chase for the Record is you get to see all the attempts. You get to see all the runs that get deep. And hopefully you get to see some personal best of world records from these guys today. Yeah, so it looks like Andy getting some really, really good luck uh, just flying through this section of 4-2. Uh, losing a little bit of time there, uh, taking dam taking some intentional damage, but uh, his health is looking good, his ammo is looking good. He just needs to survive and get the right Q pattern. And uh, first things first, we gotta get past uh, this Diggler skin. Just this trick right here. Gotta do it. As we see Dexter on a phenomenal pace as well as he advances to 4-2. Andy getting the Diggler skip low on health still, but he is in it and Rich uh, not too far behind. He's on a decent pace going into 4-2 as well. So all three runs still going. We haven't seen a reset from, from any of these guys just yet. Andy getting himself in a little bit of trouble there, getting knocked back. And he is going to take the intentional damage. He needs drops here. He gets a heart. That's going to be key. Now he really needs the good cube pattern, though. Yeah, it looked very scary there. Uh, getting past the, those four enemies just in that section. He's going to take on these cubes. He only has two health, but it shouldn't be uh, a problem for him so long as he gets the right pattern. He's punching the first cube. He got he got it, but he needs, he needs a little bit of help here because he cannot take damage on this cube. He needs it to not stop in the wrong spot, and he is through to Act 5. Meanwhile, Dexter approaching the Diggler, so is his run going to be able to continue? He's on that amazing pace. He pulls out the gun, so he's going to skip the Diggler this time around. He knows he's on that pace, and he wants to keep it. Gets a heart drop, which is going to be key for him. Meanwhile, Endy needing a little bit of health. He's good on weapons, though, to get to the end of the game. Rich now coming up to the Diggler. He goes for it. He hits it. Dexter had a little bit of unfortunate luck there with the uh, jump, but he is still on a great pace. So let's see if Endy can make this climb here. Lots of action going on yeah, right lots now, Lots of guys. action, guys. Uh, three really good Batman runs uh, coming to a close here. Hopefully we see them finish. As we see Andy, he is making his way up the clock tower, and he is making these jumps. Uh, look so so easy. Uh, he's gonna take a little bit of damage here from this flamethrower guy. It's not gonna matter. He just wants to get to Firebug with enough health, with enough ammo. He's got the ammo and he is moving on. He needs a magical position. Let's and meanwhile, see. That. Meanwhile, Dexter is on an insane pace right now. He's got a chance at world record here. Uh, but first, Andy. He's got what the position. He needs he's got it. I think, I think his time, his pace is just not quite good enough, though, and Dexter getting some weapon drops that he needs. Andy, he's going to need to get the glitch here, as Rich has made it in Act 5 as well. This is insane right now. So is he, even with the glitch, I don't think he gets PB, but another finish run by Andy. Great job by um, him. Great showing right there. So uh, let's again, focus on so Dexter, consistent. though. 
10 15 is amazing dexter though has a chance to get record here i believe if he's able to maintain this pace he's got just enough weapons he's got plenty of health he's gonna need to hold on as he takes on firebug and joker here at the end so great run by Andy. Rich is also in there as well, but but keep your eye on Dexter. Dexter is coming to the end here, and he is on the right pace. He needs Firebug to get in that magical position. Can he do it? He gets a good pattern. Oh no, he walked just a little bit too far, but he manages the backup. This is going to be tight, guys. He's got Firebug down. It it all comes down to the Joker right now. Gets a good Joker pattern. Sometimes you'll see the Joker fire twice. Uh, he's in there. He needs the lightning. Does oh, he get it? Oh Does my god, this it? could be it. No! Oh my god, it's a it's gonna be a 1007 Dexter. Wow. Ah, he was frames away. Frames away from world record there. Oh you just oh my goodness. I can't even believe it. A 1007. If he had gotten Joker glitch there, that would have been a 10.04. That would have been world record. He knew it. He was going for it. And he just couldn't quite hit it. Meanwhile, Rich ending up with a 10.29. Very respectable time finishing a run as well. Great job by all our runners, man. This is just... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I can't even this take is this solid. right now. Yeah. Uh, we almost... This is... Again, this is Chase for the record. And uh, Dexter... He's chasing it. He's almost got it. Uh, I think. That's if twice. These guys now. keep going. Yeah, if these yeah. guys keep going. You might even see it. So you might see it. He has he has a ten ten and a ten oh seven so far today. So that ten oh seven, again, just one second off of his current world record, and just ever so close to to closing it out there. But all of our players probably showing a little bit of fatigue here. They're kind of taking a break. They're like, man. This is too intense. It's too intense right now, but um, that's kind of the whole point of Chase for the Record. Again, we try to feature any game that has multiple competitors that are going for a world record. Um, earlier this year, we featured Mega Man when there were four top competitors all kind of trading record back and forth. Uh, we recently featured uh, Sonic Adventure 2, where there are several top players that um, are all competing for world record in that game. Uh, Super Mario World. 96 exit was another great one that we got to show and of course today batman so if you guys know of any games that have just extremely high level competition among multiple runners then that's the kind of thing that we want to be able to to showcase here on the speed gaming channel so right now everybody kind of back to the beginning of the game just defend i think they all needed a reset right yeah looks like uh they're getting back to the stage one grind again uh here in the beginning, they are just opting to kill as many enemies as they can and collect the drops. If you do it correctly, like the same time, every time you start the game, uh, you'll get the same drop. So what they want is the ammo drop. It's like this little box that has a symbol of a bullet on it. And uh, that is going to give them the ammo that they need, that they need and that they want to start with. Because uh, as you progress through the game, uh, you know, the global timer changes ever so slightly with your boss fights and uh, how you do the rooms and uh, the drops just are not consistent. So you want as much as you can to get in the beginning. And Rich is our only player that has made it out of stage one. He is on in the 2-1 here. Other players are... Uh... Stuck in stage one, that can happen sometimes. You can you can spend a decent amount of uh, time in stage one in this game if you're having trouble with the first boss. Uh, if he's giving you that dive pattern repeatedly, then you're just going to be stuck in reset land. But we've been pretty fortunate today, I gotta say. I mean, we've seen just tons of completed runs and lots of runs uh, getting deep, and that's what you want to see. Yeah, uh, these guys, fortune is smiling on them. Uh, getting them past stage one, you know, back back in like 2013, you watched Dexter, it was reset land, <laughs> <you know? laughs> just resetting on that boss. So uh, we're seeing some good things here. They, I guess, uh, the, maybe the manip manipulations are working out uh, better uh, these days. The way where these guys are standing, uh, they have better understanding of the game, obviously, and. Uh, 
down. We have two players who are moving on uh, through stage two. As we see Bad Bricks, he is continuing on. We saw Rich, he took a reset. And uh, this is a very cool strat there at the beginning of 2-2 where Bad Bricks uses two Dirks and uh, takes care of those two bad guys to collect a drop there. Yeah, Bad Break's definitely way more aggressive with the uh, weapon usage than the other players, that's for sure. He he uses Dirks a lot more frequently, um, and he'll also switch to the gun, too. He does some tricky gun strats at certain points just to save the ammo, like something that might... You could use a double Dirk, but he'll use double gun and, and save the two ammo, um, you know, netting, netting him more ammo in the long run. As he approaches these neutral jumps here, he's on a decent pace. Um, Hopefully going to be getting through Act 2 here. Yeah, a little bit of a slip up there near the end. Uh, there's this interesting th thing that happens in um, Batman where when you're in a jump and you haven't taken damage, when you land, uh, you just get stunned. Like, you cannot move, and these guys, they're trying to avoid that as much as possible. Fortunately, Bad Breaks lands in the electric floor, and uh, that costs him maybe half a second. So. Uh, he's coming up on a jump here, he doesn't get it, you can jump from the conveyor belt all the way to that ledge on the left, and that saves frames. Uh, these <laughs> tricks, uh, these jumps, everything, they some of them only just save frames, and uh, that's yeah. how optimized uh, Batman is. <laughs> yep, the, 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 the frames add up, and just for a, for a little history lesson for our viewers, you know, this... Uh, the first round of this game was back probably in the um, you know pre-2010 days. It was by a guy named DLH. I believe it was a low 13 minute time uh, that he had submitted to SDA, and that was the, the best run at the time. And then uh, next to beat his time was Liger of Fortune, another old school SDA runner. I believe he took the time down to sub 12 and had around an 11:43 or 44 time uh and then it was a long time but then funk doc came around and he said you know what i don't think liger's time's all that good i'm gonna go ahead and take this thing down even lower so he lowered it to uh just over 11 minutes and then he started having some competition when dexter decided to join the fray he and dexter of course battled back and forth both trading the record many many times until eventually dexter got just an insanely low time. I think the 10-11 was the one that was just kind of like, all right, everybody's done with this game. Nobody's playing this game anymore. And then things kind of slowed down for probably a few years, I want to say. Yeah, um, I think so. Other people played the game, but it wasn't really like... The record wasn't in contention. People were just kind of right. playing because it's like a fun game. They want to get good. Maybe they want to get sub-10.30, whatnot. You know, there were the races, of course. Um, but not until recently have we had like I, I feel like Endy really kind of sparked this whole thing. Getting he he get, he was the first person to get really close to Dexter, and uh, I think he got close. I, I want to say he got the a ten twelve, which scared Dexter into like coming out of retirement and getting that ten oh six that he has. <laughs> he was like, oh man, I can't let Endy beat me right now. Right. <laughs> uh, yeah, I would say. Uh, I'm not too familiar with Andy, but uh, I don't think he's nearly as old school. I don't know if he's been streaming or uh, been around as long as uh, and, these guys have. No, and Andy's pretty new to the scene, and he kind of stormed onto the scene, getting a bunch of uh, relatively high-profile NES records very quickly. I, I, I still remember seeing him get the Chippendale Rescue Rangers record kind of out of nowhere and being like, whoa. This this is a pretty optimized record, and he just took it like, wow! I was impressed, and uh, you know he got several other uh, records as well for for other NES games, including uh, Ducktales, which I believe he still holds. Ducktales, uh, Ducktales Two, Yume Penguin, Monogatari. Um, he was in heavy competition for the Mega Man record. I'm not sure if he ever actually held it, but he was definitely uh, one of the top players in that game as well so yeah very yeah. impressive and he has speedrunner and and just like as you said very new to uh to the the uh, the twitch scene just coming out of nowhere so yeah you know, keep, keep an eye on andy uh, he's been doing really well uh and he chased the record chase for the record so far 
And we should also just say, you know, hey, don't forget to follow our runners. We've been talking about how great all these guys are, but, you know, yeah, make sure you click that follow button. Uh, go ahead and give these guys a follow. They're all regular streamers, and uh, they stream a variety. It's not just Batman. If you like Batman, yeah, they will stream that for sure, but uh, plenty of other great games uh, streamed by these guys, and, and they're all uh, top speed runners for sure. So make sure to give them a follow. So moving uh, along, we have Andy. He's taking on the Electrocutioner. Uh, he is low on health, so hopefully he gets some health drops. He has to get the past this first jumper, as usual. There's a lot of RNG in this first stage. Got it. Gets a very good pattern right there. Basically, you want the jumper to stay where he is after that first jump, and you can despawn him by just moving the screen forward. And uh, he's farming these enemies, and uh, he's getting some good drops, but uh, he Ooh. still has to deal with these last two jumpers. So. Last two jumpers giving him a little bit of trouble, a little more trouble than he needs, but still on a decent pace here. He's again on that like low 630 pace. Uh, so Andy really the only one with a run going right now. And he could be on his way to finishing yet another, which I believe would be his fourth run at this point. Um, Mr. Consistency, Andy Swee. <laughs> yeah, he must be saying to himself, you know, something's got to give because, like, he's he's getting here, and uh, he just needs the luck. He needs uh, the right execution on these bosses, uh, anything, and uh, he he's gonna he might get himself a new PB. Maybe even the record if uh, he keeps going like this. Yeah, so he's going to take the intentional damage on both of these, freeze the spike car so he can walk in front of them, and then it's going to be a question of does he take double damage here? I think that would be a little too risky, and so does he, so he's going to pass on that. Uh, but I doubt he is going to pass on the Diggler. Given his pace right now, he pretty much needs to save every little bit of time that he can. Nice gun strat there, picks him up a heart, which is useful. Diggler time, let's go. Once again, getting it, and Andy is on his way to being in Act 5 yet again. Alright, some nice strats there, as you can see. Ooh, he takes a little bit of knockback. That's unfortunate. Uh, that's going to cost him some time that he really needs, and... Health situation, hopefully he can get a drop here. He's getting more weapons than he really needs. He, he could get yeah. out another weapon drop for the rest of the game at this point. And he would like to see some health drops, because again, he's only going to get uh, four health after he beats this boss, so he's got to pray for the good pattern at this point, otherwise he could be dead. Okay, again, trying to take out this first cube as fast as he can. Uh, take some damage there. Now he needs a good pattern on the second cube. And not the great pattern, but he does survive, so he is going to be on into Act 5. His pace is a little less than desirable, but I believe he's going to finish this run out anyway. Uh, we are going to need Joker Glitch here. Joker Glitch yeah, is definitely. definitely needed at this point. But don't count Andy out. He's definitely gotten Joker Glitch before. He can do it again. Yeah, maybe... Uh... You know, sometimes the pressure uh, isn't as much when you don't really feel like that you're on the, the greatest of, of pace, and then uh, maybe things work out, you just surprisingly get the, the Joker glitch, so it could just happen. Uh, ooh, oh. Having some trouble with that, this, again, that jump is very, very precise. You need to s just barely squeeze uh, past that gear and uh, onto that platform. And uh, everything just looks very precarious. <laughs> oh yeah, for for people that have played this game casually, they know how tight it is, and this section just causes game over after game over for most people. But these guys are pros. Andy on into Firebug, magical position time. Let's see if he can get it. He's gonna need to get it and get it quickly. And he does get a favorable pattern there, but he doesn't get the position, so he's getting fireballed. And Firebug might actually take Andy down here. Uh, yeah, he doesn't really go for a safe backup strat at this point. He knows it's just, you know, Firebug got me. Yeah, so I think uh, here, uh, Andy, he's just going to continue along with the run, maybe see if he can get a crack at the uh, the Joker glitch. Uh, so far, Firebug not 
not cooperating whatsoever. No, not at all, and he was tanking damage there, and, and, and you can see, you have to tank a lot of damage to beat Firebug. Um, especially, I think these guys are less experienced in that strat. That was kind of the old strat. Um, so we see Bad Breaks uh, is on a bit of a run here as well, as Endy does finish off Joker. Doesn't look like he got the glitch. So we're going to focus on Bad Breaks and Dexter. They've both got uh, some runs going, and Bad Breaks... Health situation not great, so he's going to have to make some decisions here at the cog skips, and he's going to pass up on the first one. I imagine he's going to pass up on both of them, but he could potentially take one if he wanted to, but a little risky. Yeah, again, he's uh, let's move along. Uh, you need to have more than, more than three health, or more than at least two health, when you take on this Electrocutioner boss. This, this big clown with the, you know, giant electric blade, but um, uh, Bad Break survives. He's moving he on for one. Yes. And, uh, uh, as we see Dexter, uh, he has to get past these jumpers, and uh, looks like he's going to be doing just that. Dexter both has of, passed. Yeah, both of these runners uh, getting past those, both of their jumpers that were going to be very very troublesome for them and uh yeah bad breaks getting some pretty good patterns here yes finally finally and he is, has a very nice 4-1 on his hands here uh and he is through so he's gonna just need to get some weapon drops here especially if he uses those aggressive strategies that he is known to use misses that drop pickup that's a shame when that happens those drops sometimes they don't have a hitbox until they hit the ground, and it looks like that's just what happened in that particular situation. He moved past it just before it hit the ground. But looks, looks like yeah, okay. looks like everything's working out just fine for Bad Breaks. Um, he could he could really be in a good position here uh, if he he gets a little bit of health. But uh, it's not going to matter. He's going to move on through. Uh, Going to take the intentional damage on these hazards here and freeze the spike cars before he moves on to to the uh, the next screen. And again, opting not to take some damage here, uh, perhaps to uh, just want maybe he wants to survive and just move on through to get to the boss. And uh, he is going to have to do the Diggler strat, the strat that he has named and created, and getting it. Hey, wow. So Bad Breaks on his way, uh, he had made it to Act 5 last time, but sort of tragically so, he had taken a death on the cubes due to an unfortunate pattern, but decided to finish out one, so hopefully this time he gets a little bit luckier on the cubes. His health situation is okay for now, but he's going to be taking a lot of damage on his path there. Meanwhile, we see Dexter finishing off Electrocutioner, and he is on a pretty good pace here, so once again... Dexter moving towards the, the end of the game and with a chance. Ooh, there's the swaggerang. Nice. Breaks. He he knows these swag tricks, so you can't uh, you cannot count him out. He's taking on these cubes. Good pattern this time. Oh, but he takes a hit. This could be devastating, and it is. So is he gonna finish out this time? I'm not sure. Uh, Dexter, meanwhile, looked to have a very good 4-1, and he is again. Sub 6.30 going into 4.2, so he's on a good enough pace. Bad Breaks is going to go ahead and finish out again. I like it. Good choice there. Uh, just so you're not stuck in those early stages and you can kind of get your late game confidence up. Yeah, so, I think he, he, he's, he's almost got it. You know, He just needs to uh, keep himself alive, and uh, he, he'll get the run he wants. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's he's been getting more and more runs further as we've gone along. He he was in the early part of this. I don't think we featured him quite as much because he was struggling in the early game. Meanwhile, Dexter having some struggles of his own, taking a couple hits from the spike car, and he has to reset. That's a shame. Dexter was on a great pace there, and bad breaks now traveling through Act Five as we see uh, Andy and Infested Risher also in the early portion of the game, still in Act Two. So, uh, nobody really on any kind of notable pace just at the moment. But, uh, Bad Breaks, maybe he will get the Joker glitch. Maybe he will be the one that can finally pull it off. Or, okay, he looked like he was just going to tank damage there and die, and now he 
he dies anyway, I think he's he's kind of done with that run. For yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to see all four of our players once again as we see Infested Rich is furthest along. He is approaching the second boss of the game, and he's got 99 weapons, so he's maxed out right now. 99 is the most that you can get. And he's got enough health that even with tanking some damage here, he is going to get a full health refill. So he's going to be headed into Act 3 and hoping for good jumper patterns. Yeah, these guys have been, uh, been going at it for, for a couple hours right now. So uh, maybe we need some uh, some help in the chat. Throw some emotes out there. Because uh, <laughs> get, get these guys uh, yes. some second wind. I think we uh, need more more bless RNG, man. They, these these guys have been having a rough go of it when it comes to the weapon drops today. It's gotten a little bit better, but we could we could still see some improvement. So Rich doing a great job getting through three one here. Oh, just as I say that, commentator's curse. He takes a hit from that jumper, and that jumper is on the attack. He's gonna have to reset. Unfortunate. Uh, meanwhile, Andy again into the second boss, so he's gonna have his crack at the jumpers next. Again, uh, just trying to get right up into that uh, that big machine's weak point and just punch it to death. And now he's going to be taking on these jumpers. Offs to just take some uh, intentional damage there. And uh, that one jumper is following behind him. He shakes him off, takes care of the flamethrower guys. And uh, here's some more jumpers. <laughs> Again, this game does not let up. It just keeps on coming. And uh, he is in good shape now, uh, moving on to 3-2. Great 3-1 by Endy. Doesn't get the swag jump, but that's okay. Um, in case we haven't mentioned it earlier in the game, uh, or earlier in our broadcast, rather, it does cost you time to jump versus just straight walking. So any time that you have to do an extra jump is going to cost you approximately 5 frames, which... You know, you may not think that's a lot, but for how tight this record is and for how much it can add up over the course of the run, you want to avoid those extra jumps, uh, if at all possible. And there are a few opportunities to do so, but Andy in good shape. He's got uh, 69 weapons, and he is going to be able to do the Dirk Strat. Doesn't get the good tank pattern, but he's still in great shape as he takes a little bit of a knockback there, though. That might, that might kind of ruin his pace. I hate to say it, but... Yeah, any sort of like little thing like that can definitely rattle you, and uh, it takes 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 a lot to just recover from you know a huge setback. Yeah, it's a good recovery, but that's that's the kind of one where it's like knocking you down and back, where you need to be going up and forward. So it's a little bit of time. We're gonna have to see what his pace is once we get to the electrocutioner. As long as he gets this cog skip, which he gets it again. Amazing consistency from Endy Sui all day here. And hoping for a drop from the tank, and it looks like he got a heart drop, so nice. Nice uh, luck there. Yeah, that's going to be good for him because, uh, again, he just does a, a very interesting strat here on the electrocution. Very, very quick kill, and uh, he might be on a very good pace here. Hopefully he gets the correct jump, jumper pattern here. Well, he gets a jumper pattern. I don't know if I'd call it the correct one. I, I don't like that one particularly myself, and he's having some trouble dealing with it. So this is probably going to end up being a reset for Andy. He gets rid of the jumper finally, but I, I think it may just be too late. And he's down to one HP at this point. Two more jumpers coming up. And he's had to really lose a lot of time in this passageway here in 4-1. So his pace is... Not exactly where he wants it to be, but I guess it's keepable. So he is going to keep going for the moment and pray for some hearts. Yeah, yeah, he's going to need some, uh, or else he's going to lose a lot of time uh, just trying to keep keep himself alive. And no heart drop as of yet. Nothing but bonus. <laughs> Nothing but bonus, man. So his weapons are getting drained as well, which is a bit of a problem because, you know, you... You can't lose everything, you need to get something, and there's more points for him. So, he's going to have to take it slow here. Uh, again, he's having to sacrifice time due to the fact that he doesn't have health to take intentional damage, and he's going to not be able to take intentional damage again here, costing him a little bit more time. 
and then he's pretty much gonna have to hit the tickler and then get a drop off of one of these two guys because he's about to be in another spot where he's either gonna lose more time or hopefully get enough health to tank damage and yeah not not, not looking good <laughs> I guess not, looking good. Be. not looking good uh, infested rich meanwhile is moving through 3-1 so hopefully he has a little bit better luck able to get rid of that jumper there nice uh, despawn and Andy's still too low on health. He's going to have to take it a little bit safe here coming into this next area. He'll tank that as his last damage. I actually don't like that. I think he should have avoided the damage on that one. Um, and then, oh, he does get the lucky heart, though. So what do I know? Um, there's a reason these guys are playing and we're not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so these, these guys just risking it all, leaving everything to chance. He's only got one health left, so... Any sort of mess up here on this cube boss, and uh, that's gonna be it. Gets a good pattern, but he just got up a little bit too early there. The cube shot right as he was standing up. Uh, he was gonna take another jump and try to get some more hits on on the cube there. Um, meanwhile, Infested Rich on a good pace. Looks like he might be able to close out Act 3 yet again. Advance to Act 4, and we see Bad Breaks is not far behind. He's also. Uh, getting close there, and he's in a better health situation and a good weapon situation. This is probably the best situation we've seen bad breaks in all day, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I think so, and uh, that's like that's really favorable for him because again, we talked about bad breaks. Uh, this guy, he does some of the the craziest things in this game, and uh, the more health he has, the more ammo he has, he's gonna put on a show. Yep, and he is going for those cobs, cog skips and getting one as Rich is approaching the boss. Rich with plenty of weapons, a little low on health though. Uh, double cops, cog skip for Bad Breaks. And Bad Breaks is going to be in a little bit better shape here as both players enter Act 4. Nobody's gotten the quick kill on, on uh, Electrocutioner yet. I'd like to see somebody get it. You can actually kill him before he makes that final jump if you do everything just right. Yeah, it can be a little bit random sometimes with uh, these batarangs. Ooh, wow, uh, very good, very good kill for bad breaks. Oh, uh, Rich and in trouble, the yeah, jumper Rich is, is just trouble. not relenting, so that's going to be a reset. So bad break's going to be the only player now that is on a run here. Uh, maybe we can single him up. He's got great weapons, he's got great health. He just needs to get past... Uh, this final section here, this last stretch with these two. Last two jumpers. Yeah. And he's got this guy taken care of. So usually this last guy, as long as you get the first one taken care of, you can handle him. Uh, he did make bad breaks slow down just a little bit there, but he's on a nice pace. Uh, really good pace for bad breaks here. And hopefully he can kind of keep his momentum going. There's a nice weapon drop. He needed that. And... Looks like he's got in the 40s, so he's he's in good shape here, but you do use a lot of weapons going through Act 4. There's a lot of Dirk usage. Uh, he is recovering it. Oh, he took just... He he thought he was going off the edge there and, and had to double back. That's unfortunate. So, yeah, losing a little bit of time, it could have been more disastrous than that. So he's still moving along. Uh, his health looks good. He could use a little bit more. He could use a little bit more ammo. Like, any... any like any more addition is good in this game. So right, um, anything that's not points, any drop that's not right. points, you're okay with it. Uh, but he's he's in good shape though. I you know I I'd, I'd say even if he didn't get another ammo drop uh, for the rest of the game, he might be able to just barely finish. But there's one more ammo drop. I think that really that sets him up nicely. It's all a matter of getting this Diggler here. He needs it. Gotta have it. Doesn't get it. Oh, he was just yeah. out of he was just out of position. That's so unfortunate. So that costs about 10 seconds. That's going to be the end of Bad Break's chance to get a PB, most likely. But uh, once again, I think it looks like he is going to finish out the run. Because, again, it's that confidence building, man. He's had such bad luck in the end of Act 4 and uh, and throughout Act 5 that you just you kind of want to get some kind of momentum going. Yeah, you can see, again... Um what the strat looks like when you don't do the dig the diggler and uh it's just much slower it's much safer but uh you, the momentum you get uh getting past that spike car uh with the diggler strat 
is, is so much better. So Bad Breaks has a pretty decent amount of health here this time. Uh, hopefully he can get the good pattern. Unfortunately, eh, a little bit of an execution gaffe there, I think, on that one. He didn't time things out just right. Uh, yeah, so like these cubes, um, they start shooting these projectiles at you right away, and you have to you have to really like start acting quick because as soon as you start throwing these batarangs, you got to do a wall jump and get up to the top there to damage the first one, and then be right next to it. So yeah, you have to the execution on that quick kill is very very tight. Just like most everything in this game. <laughs> not, no kidding. Not a, lot, not a lot of room for error in no. this one. And not a lot of breaks either. There's not a lot of downtime where you're just kind of like, you know, the boss explodes and then it's right back to the action. Yeah. So it's an interesting little bit about this game. You know, you might be wondering to yourself, like, why is Batman taking on all of these, like, weird-looking enemies, these robots, uh, all, all the sorts of things that are coming at him, and uh, uh, fun little fact, I believe that this was supposed to be some uh, untitled Sunsoft game uh, that was going to be something else until they got the Batman license, so they decided to just put Batman into it and uh, tied into the movie that came out with Michael Keaton and yep, uh, Michael, Michael Keaton Batman. So such this a is good the, Batman. Yeah, <laughs> this is uh, the result. You see, Batman, he is uh, one tough guy taking on all of these enemies. Yes, and it has some weird stuff like Batman using a gun, which traditionally, you know, Batman doesn't use a gun. Um, yeah, it's, other, it's just it's a weird little those. gun. It's some sort of rocket thing. I don't know. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a real gun. <laughs> Oh man. Alright, so we see Dexter is uh, moving along here. Oh, he took just a little bit of a fall there onto the cogs, unfortunately. That's going to cost him a little time, but his pace is still decent enough. I think he's going to keep it going. He's, um, he's still okay, so he's going to need to get some good jumper luck here, though, to kind of make up for that. And He's going to have to take that intentional damage to get rid of jumper number one. And jumper number two is not relenting. He's he's saying no, Dexter. You will reset. So Dexter resets. Yeah. So like at the beginning uh, of every boss fight, there's a bit of like a there's like this short little period of downtime where you can't actually move Batman. So like you might see might see these guys like jump the gun a little bit because they're trying to you know get these these boss kills as quick as they can, but Every time they go into the boss, uh, when they go into the boss fight, they just have a little bit of recovery. They just need to wait a little bit, and then uh, that just might mess up their timing ever so slightly. Uh, we see Infested Rich. He's doing pretty good through that section in uh, two two. He's moving on to two three, and uh, right at the beginning of two three, you might notice uh, we we talked about how the jumps like you can't really change your direction in the air once you're moving uh it's sort of like arthur and golden ghosts at the beginning of two three you might notice that like he hits the platform and it's able to change the change batman's direction and that's just like a, a weird little uh mechanic with the jumping in this game where when you jump against the wall as soon as you hit the wall you can you can change uh your direction and it's only in that instance that it allows you to do that. Yeah, a lot of little tricky things in this game, and uh, in most NES games, you know, learning mechanics and other things like that can be very, very interesting. And you know, especially with movement-related stuff that you just, you know, you don't notice with the naked eye, but um, but getting more in depth, you know, people eventually find this stuff out, and that's one of the great things about speed running as uh we see rich has again gotten to act three but quickly resetting on those jumpers they just had it out for him yeah that second jumper uh didn't give him the pattern he wanted uh you, you want these jumpers to jump towards you and when they just jump straight up and stay where they are uh that that is uh the end of the run <laughs> it'll just ruin it completely so for those of you that are just joining us, this is Chase for the Record, and these guys are all going for world record in Batman on the NES. All these guys are playing on original 
hardware and they are within 10 seconds of each other all of their time so they're top competitors in the game we want to show you their attempts so far we have seen some great ones we have seen several attempts that have been within seconds of the record uh, Dexter was actually literally within one second of the world record so hopefully we're gonna see some guys get on a great pace here and we're gonna be showing it to you for at least another hour or so hopefully more we'll see yeah, we'll see. These guys, uh, again, this is a, a very short speed run. Uh, usually finishes within uh, within 11 minutes, uh, close to 10 minutes, honestly. And uh, these guys are just cranking out the attempts. Um, Dexter, moving on to 2-3. Here's that jump again. Once he hits that platform, he's able to change his direction. Uh, using the Batarang there to stun the little pod there above that drops an enemy. If you don't stun that, that pod, it will drop an enemy right on Batman's head as you're uh, going through that section. So uh, just a lot of little strats here and there just to uh, speed things up. He gets that really precise jump there to save some frames and uh, moving, just chugging along. So unfortunately, Bad Breaks forgot to start his timer, but he is on a good run, so he should keep going here because he can always retime the run later. Uh, so, you know, the rule is, in a situation like this, just just keep going. Uh, we'll figure it out at some point. We'll, we'll get, you know, may even get a frame count if we have to, <laughs> uh, if his run's that good. But he is going to keep going, and he is the furthest along of all our runners so far as yeah. he heads through 2-2 uh, here. Yeah, it looks like Dexter had to uh, had to take a reset there, and uh, fortunately, Bad Breaks will do the same, uh, messing up that section in two two again. Uh, then this this whole section here, uh, it's very it's very easy to make a mistake, um, and any sort of mistake just costs you a big big time loss. We see Rich like he's doing it like almost perfectly these jumps right before you fall onto that electric floor you need to make a jump right there uh, a neutral jump and get that wall jump off off uh, and not take any damage and you do have control of your jump height in this game in some nes games it's a fixed jump height but this one you do control it by how long you were holding down the a button uh, which is very critical in certain situations. You want to, you know, adjust your jump height based on a myriad of factors, and these guys are great at knowing exactly when to do that. So, uh, Infested Rich advancing, and he is once again going to have another crack at Act 3. We saw him just lose a run to the jumpers only moments ago in his last attempt, but he gets a rematch shortly. Uh, meanwhile, most of our other players in Act 1, it looks like Dexter has just finally advanced to Act 2, and so has Endy. So we're going to see them moving along. And Rich going to take down the boss here. Got to take that intentional damage. There's just no way around it. That's what it takes to be fast, but he'll get enough for a full health refill and jumper rematch incoming. Uh, uh, yeah, miss <laughs> yeah, missing some of his lyrics right there in the beginning, and he has this jumper that's chasing him. Okay, good shake. adjustment though, good adjustment. Able to shake off that last jumper. Uh, very, very very good awareness from, from Rich. Even on that jumper right there, uh, second to last one, he noticed that the jumper was going to chase him. He sort of uh, hesitated for a moment just to keep the jumper where it was, and then uh, he's moving along uh, to 3-2 here. So he's going to get another chance to take on uh, some jumpers that are down at the bottom of the sewers here. And carefully navigating that one with the Batarang and a nice Dirk throw there. He is through, so he is going to be advancing to the next stage and hopefully getting into Act 4. Rich has had some bad luck in Act 4 today. Um, meanwhile, it looks like Bad Breaks may have went down. His stream may have gone down there. You can see he's got the, <laughs> the very nice Batman picture there. It's good yeah, stuff. Perhaps, okay, yeah. he's, he's he's back. Yeah, he's back. perhaps uh, fixing a few things. Yeah. Yeah. The the Joker was playing some tricks there for a second, I think. <laughs> so we're seeing uh, Fested Rich. He has takes out the proximity mine, 
and uh, he's in very good shape. Again, uh, ooh, a uh -oh. little bit of a mishap there with that jump. That's going to cost him some time. Uh, he is going to try to correct. Oh uh, no, cog skip missed. Yeah, he's, he's trying to uh, shake off these uh, mistakes. Oh, another oh, cog skip missed. That's unfortunate. So he is actually going to just go ahead and reset at this point. He He was doing good there. He had the weapons. He had the health and it just takes one mistake in this game to kind of just rattle you and it's all over so that breaks again having a little bit of internet issues there Andy sweet advancing to act three let's see what Andy's has andy has been quiet for a little bit here he had initially just gone on this rampage and completed like four runs or five runs but he's uh his luck has kind of changed a little bit there so hopefully he'll be able to get another run going here. Picks up a key health drop. He is very low on health for this point of the game, so we'll have to hope that he can get some drop luck. Oh, missing that Dirk. That could be dangerous. Oh, able to avoid Ooh. that last jumper. Wow. Uh, wow. Thought he was going to take some damage for sure, but he is moving on, and uh, that's, that's all he needs. That is impressive. That is impressive right there. Nice play by Andy Sweet. He's been making the nice plays all day long and got to handle a couple more jumpers before he can clear this stage out. Gets a heart drop, which he does need. So hopefully he'll have a few more of those coming as the next stage, you know, definitely a place that you can take some damage if things don't go your way. Yeah, definitely uh, would prefer to get some heart drops from uh, these enemies that he's going to destroy here. He's doing good on ammo, he's using the Dirk strat on this tank right there, and uh, yeah, he's moving right along. Right here, This uh, you might not notice it here in 4-3, but there is a despawn strat there. Uh, if you make the right, right jump at the right time, you despawn a tank that is supposed to appear at the top left of those platforms. He's moving on through, and uh, it looks like he will have to skip the, uh, taking any sort of damage at the end here and not do the cog skips. Yeah, he's gonna have to take a pass. It's just it's a little too precarious at this point, especially with his strat that he uses on the boss. He tends to take three damage, so that would put him at one HP. And hopefully he gets some kind of drop from the tank here, weapons or health. He does get a weapon drop, so that's gonna help him going into Act 4, but not in the greatest shape uh, is Andy Sui, so he's gonna need some luck, certainly going forward here as he does take that third damage just before closing out Executioner and moving along. Uh, I'd like to welcome any anybody that's joining the stream. This is Chase for the Record for Batman. All four of these players are top players in the game, capable of getting the world record, which is 10.06 by Dexter. Uh, we've had some great attempts today. These guys are all making their attempts, and Dexter actually got a 10.07 earlier, just one second off of his record. Andy has gotten, I believe, a 10-10 and a 10-11, I want to say. Yeah. Uh, nice. He's had some really great time. So all these guys have been finishing runs, and we want to show you all the action. That's what Chase for the Record is all about. You get to see the best players, and you get to see all the attempts. You're not going to miss anything. So come on in. If you're watching from front page land, come on in the chat. Give Speed Gaming a follow. Speed Gaming again. Uh, the best channel out there for all your tournament needs or other competitive retro gaming needs. We have features like this and plenty of tournaments linked to the past. Randomizer will be having a few matches tonight, I believe. They are in the elimination stages. You're not going to want to miss those. That, that link to the past randomizer is something else. Everybody's been enjoying that lately and uh, several other tournaments going on on the Speed Gaming channel. So definitely follow Speed Gaming. And uh, don't forget to follow our runners as well. These guys, all great players in their own right, play multiple games besides Batman. So make sure to give them a follow. Yeah, and... uh, just going to touch a little bit on how Andy is doing. He's not on the greatest pace, but he's moving along with the run, getting the Diggler, and uh, that's the, the strat we call for that certain section right there. That spike car is on a very small platform. He needs to hit it with a dirk and then jump towards the uh, spike car and punch it in like a frame or two right before he lands. So uh, he's 
again, slowing down a little bit, having to slow down, I should say. Uh, these, these drops he's getting are not very favorable, and uh, he's going to be taking on this stage 4 boss with only one health, it seems. Yeah, that is not the situation that you want to be in, but it's better than being in stage 1, so hopefully he gets a good pattern. He does, oh, but he just couldn't manage to take him out in time. The cube got a shot off just in the last second, and uh, he's going to have to take a reset, unfortunate. So we, uh, we're pulling up uh, Bad Bricks and Infested Ridge here, uh, both of them in, well, excuse me, uh, Bad Bricks is in Stage 3, Infested Ridge uh, behind him, uh, about to complete Stage uh, 2, hopefully, and uh, these guys uh, haven't really been on the board as much as uh, Dexter and Andy, but uh, they might be, you know, gaining a little bit of momentum here, hopefully uh, they get the luck that they need. That jumper is chasing bad breaks down. He is able to shake him off. Uh, those jumper enemies very notorious for ruining Batman speedruns because of uh, just how uh, relentless they are. And they just they are fast and they're big. <laughs> oh yeah, and, they're, they're like Terminators, man. They do not stop. Yeah, they, they just keep coming. So the only way to take them down is. Uh, you gotta hit him with three dirks, or sometimes you can get him with a dirk and then some punches as you see Rich doing there. That'll work as well. Those close range punches actually deal a lot of damage, and damage is dealt in a very strange way in this game. It actually has to do with uh, how deep into the enemy's hitbox you are in terms of the punches. So if you're punching an enemy and you're kind of further away, you'll be dealing less damage than if your entire fist is getting into his hitbox. It's, it's really, really weird, and I don't know how they even came up with this but anyhow we have bad breaks he's headed to the boss health situation not great he decides to not go for cog skip there in the end and he does get a heart which is nice so uh he's got enough weapons hopefully he'll be able to take electrocutioner out and get himself a good act four and right behind him is infested rich uh looking pretty good uh as far as weapons and health is concerned uh, we saw him have a, a bit of a, a mishap with the cog skip, so hopefully uh, we'll see how he handles, handles it this time. And Bad Break's getting chased down by a jumper, but he does handle it well. Got out of the way there and some Batarangs for a backup. Nicely done. And he's in good shape with the weapon, so he doesn't even really need a bunch of drops here, but he gets them anyway. Uh, not getting the great pattern from that jumper there. Goes ahead and takes him out of the way. Another bad jumper pattern. Bad Break's he just hasn't had the luck today, man. Yeah, it's uh, it's really tough to see because uh, you know, Bad Breaks, he has some very, very top tier strats uh, in this game, and uh, we see we are watching Infested Rich. He is taking care of the stage three boss. He's moving on to stage four. He has to get past this jumper. This one jumper is this one. Bane. Yeah, <laughs> this guy. Most okay. Runner's existence. He takes him out. That's good. He reduced the lag, and uh, I should mention that this is this is a good pace for Rich. Uh, I would I would guess that he may actually even be on PB pace at this point. So getting some nice drops there. Bad jumper pattern, but he handles it well. Uh, as we see, bad breaks advancing. He is gonna not tank damage there, but he's coming up to the Diggler here shortly. So let's see if it gets the best of him again. He's had he's had a rough time with the Diggler today. I think he's one for three. Let's hope he can make it two for four. Looks he's like actually, he's, all, he's going for Guts for that. Yeah. <laughs> you so can't blame him, man. Way. You can't yeah. blame him. I, that's, I think that's the first time I've ever seen Bad Breaks not go for the Diggler. Ever, mm, yeah. like just just ever. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, it's 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 just such a rough strat, man. But we see Rich is doing a great job here. He's got 94 weapons, so he's pretty much good to clear the game at this point. Uh, doesn't need to worry about weapon drops, and that's always a good feeling too. Like when you don't need to worry about drops, you're able to just focus on your play, and it really helps. So he's going to take the intentional damage there at the beginning. And... Yeah, I think he's very aware of the pace he is on, and uh, looks like he is going to. 
go all out and see how he handles the Diggler strat. It looks like he's going for Diggler. Yeah, he's, he's got the well. Dirk selected. And he gets it. Okay, so he is through there and Rich able to maintain his pace. Meanwhile, that bad breaks having a bit of trouble with the cubes there. Let's hope he can survive. Oh no, and Rich gets knocked back. Ah, he gets knocked back again, and that's the end. Uh, what a tragic way to lose his run, man. You know, it's yeah. funny. We, you don't suspect that that spike car is going to cause problems because you haven't seen any of our runners get hit by that spike car, but that is a really tough spike car to deal with. Yeah. And everybody's just been getting it, like, all day today for, for whatever reason. Yeah, oh, that it. sucks for Rich, man. I bet I bet you he was on PB pace there. I'm almost yeah, positive. Yeah, I think that, so, too. That he was. So, so yeah, really taking, unfortunate reset. Taking a moment to let that digest. Maybe you got, you got him. Yeah, yeah, you got him more in the run sometimes, man. When you when you lose one like that, especially in that manner, he he might have been getting ahead of himself a little bit and already thinking about like his health situation and what damage he was going to tank or not. Because I I believe he was on three health uh, going into that section, and then of course you know you can take the intentional damage on the tanks, but that means you might have to slow down at the steps. So it's like, do you not take the damage there, or do you take it? You have to make those decisions. And Rich mentioning in the chat, oh my goodness, he said it was the best paced run he's ever had. So yeah, he he was on a good pace. We were not joking. Yeah, it's uh, definitely some exciting stuff here on Chase for the record. Uh, again, these guys are going for the world record of Batman, which is a 10.06. 10 minutes and 6 seconds by Dexter, uh, we have featured here on the top right, and uh, that's nothing to scoff at. If you can beat the game in 10 minutes, hey, you're pretty good in my book. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, I think you're you're beyond good at that point. You you have become Batman at that <laughs> yeah. point. So yeah, Dexter uh, earlier getting that 10.07, just, just a Joker glitch away, a frame-perfect glitch away from world record uh probably missed it by only one or two frames honestly that's that can be the difference that can literally be the difference you can play for 10 minutes and then you need to hit something on an exact frame to get the world record that's how tightly optimized this game is at this point and we see our runners are uh all kind of in the early stages with the exception of endy endy is approaching 3-3 here so he is going to be Getting along a little further. Maybe we can single up Endy since the other guys are all in the early game, all in stage one there. Um, let's see what kind of weapons he's got. He's got good weapons. He's got good health. Endy on another run. Yeah, that's right there. That's a very good strat where you jump towards that flamethrower guy and then you just punch him right before uh, you're going to run into him and then you just get to pass through him unharmed. Uh, Andy is going to take some damage here from these flamethrower guys so that he can do this cog skip. You see these cogs on the right side of this wall. These are actually supposed to deal damage to you, but Ooh. the way that these guys are handling it, uh, they're doing the wall jumps just like properly, like very spaced, like the position is very precise. And, and I don't know if you it. noticed, but Andy, Andy not only got both cog skips, but he picked up a heart from one of those flamethrower guys, which is pretty nice, because now he's going to have 7 health going into 4-1 here, and 58 weapons, so he's in good shape, good jumper yeah. pattern away from being on a really nice pace, and he handles that jumper very well. Oh, he's trying to kind of do a, a crazy strat there to take out some of those spike cars, didn't work out for him, but he's still good, he, he didn't lag the game too much. And uh, he's kind of in drop alley here. This is you kill a lot of enemies in this next few minutes of the game, um, and you just need to hope not to get the what we call the points parade, where it's just uh, points, 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 points. Um, so he looks good. He's on 59. He's able to use the Dirk strat here to take out some of these guys. And... Yeah, looks like a Greek. He got some of the points parade right there. He wants some health. Uh, again, he's just killing these enemies so that uh, he, he'll take any drop that he can get. Ammo, yeah, uh, hopefully some health. But, there we uh, go. He, he got a couple ammo drops there. Uh, the health would be nice. This is kind of the time you need it because you can 
You can take some damage here to save a little bit of time, and oh, that's unfortunate. He had to take a hit from that spike car, and he's going to have to skip getting hit here. Let's see, yeah, he takes out these final two spike cars. Interesting decision not to do so. He wants to maintain his pace, so he's going to have to just pause for a split second there and not take damage from the uh, lightning in that section. And is it going to be Diggler time? What do you think, Just Defend? Uh, I think he goes for it. I think uh, at, at the, def the time deficit that he's at, I think he's just got to you know, go for it and hope for the best. I agree with you, and he does go for it, he does get it, so Andy able to maintain that pace. Now he's got to make some tough decisions around where he wants to take damage. So he knows that he's going to have to take a little bit of damage in this section coming up, but he can really only afford to take one hit at this point, and that's it. So he is going to skip taking damage there on that tank, I like it, and he should probably skip it on this tank as well, uh, just for the fact that he can take it on the stairs, which is where the highest enemy density exists and it allows you to get through quickly so oh and he just jumped a little bit too early oh there my what gosh. happened yeah i think uh maybe oh, i don't know no. just in the moment uh just wasn't focusing on what was coming up next and that it's very hard you get past all that whole section there and uh, it's so difficult with all the enemies and stuff like that. And it looks like you're in the clear, but you just have to make these jumps over uh, a couple of enemies and uh, stuff that's going to be chasing you yeah. down. Doesn't quite get there. Doesn't get his chance to take on the boss. You just can't relax ever in this game. It's like that jump is so easy, and it's just like what <laughs> you can you cannot you cannot relax for even a split second this game is too intense so we have everybody back in the early stages here I, I think everybody's actually in stage one right back to the beginning yeah that's correct as we see band breaks right here uh again this is a, a little bit of a manipulation on the boss you want that boss to swoop down uh, immediately so that you can start damaging him right away and uh, defeat him uh, in order to get the optimal time that you want uh, both bad breaks and Fested Rich, they get the they get the manipulation, and uh, if they had gotten something otherwise, there is a pattern here. We'll see with Dexter. Uh, if the boss just starts throwing fireballs right away, reset. Just you got to start over. If you you're not getting, you're gonna lose about like five seconds. Uh, yeah, no choice at that point. So, a couple of our runners able to advance through to uh, two two here. And that Dexter is not far behind, so hopefully some of these guys will be getting to Act 3. And you guys can see that we've definitely had a ton of runs to get to Act 4 today, but getting past Act 4 is the real challenge. We've probably only had maybe 7 runs that have gotten to Act 5 legitimately, I would say, and then some of those died there in Act 5. But we've also had some great runs that did get completed as well, so... Just gotta stay tuned and keep watching. We're gonna have more and more great opportunities for these guys to get the run. Yeah. The, the, the 1005 or less. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's see it. Um, you're gonna see something here from Dexter. You'll notice that sometimes these these players, they're not jumping, they're, they're not falling off of these ledges, they're jumping. And we talked about how the jumping, uh, you know, there's a little bit of startup to them. Uh, sometimes if there's a ceiling, like right above Batman, you actually save frames by jumping instead of falling off of a ledge. Because uh, when you hit the ceiling, Batman falls down, uh, falls off the ledge faster. So again, frame by frame, they're saving it and uh, they're saving time. Gotta save the frames, man. You cannot leave any frame behind. And we see bad breaks and infested rich both approaching the boss here what kind of pace do we have it looks like rich is going to get a door time of 35 and bad breaks was about a 37 or 8. so both of them on a decent pace here you want to finish this boss around the sub 350 mark which i think maybe both of them will do it looks like rich gets a 349 bad breaks was right around 350 i think yeah um, so both of these guys are uh, kind of neck and neck they're not racing each other they're doing world record attempts uh, and we see a really good pattern there uh, for bad breaks. 
Rich, on the other hand, not so lucky. Uh, he is going to have to reset. Meanwhile, Dexter is getting his chance at the boss now, and he's going to come up with a kill that is hopefully sub-350. It looks like a 348, so he's going to be advancing to Act 3 as well. So, Bad Breaks and Dexter right now, both into Act 3, both doing well. They have the weapons, they have the health. And Dexter didn't like that jumper pattern, so he is going to say goodbye. We are going back to stage one right now. But uh, if Bad Breaks can keep this run together, uh, this, oh, that jumper pattern was very, very awkward, but he handles it perfectly, and uh, he is going to try and move on to 4-3. His health is in good shape. I think he has pretty good ammo count, more than 50, I would say. Yep. And yeah, and he's in there, 4.55, that's a nice uh, transition time to get into this stage. So let's see how he handles this first tank here. He is going to go ahead and use that di uh, Dirk Strat, executes it well. He manages to get a health pickup as well. Uh, so bad breaks again. He's going to have probably another opportunity at Act 4. Um, Act 4 has kind of been a bit of a demon for him today. He's really struggled quite a bit in Act 4, but maybe this is going to be the time that he finally gets rid of the demons and uh, is able to make it to Act 5 on a good pace. Let's let's hope that he can do that. Yeah, he gets one cog skip, and uh, again, these are very precise wall jumps, and he is up there. He will be moving on to take on the boss. He is in good shape. Uh, hopefully, Stage 4 uh, treats him nicely. But uh, we have to see with these enemies, these hoppers, anything can kill the run. So uh, taking on the Electrocutioner, not getting the quick, quick kill, but a uh, pretty good kill right there. And, uh, good kill, gonna, good kill. He's going to be at full life right now. Uh, just got to get past these enemies. Oh, and he gets the good jumper pattern. That's the one you want to see. I think there's three different patterns that Jumper can do, and that's the best one that allows you to not lag the game at all and to basically just keep on trucking. So uh, picking up some nice ammo drops there, a couple hearts that he didn't really need, and uh, he's past that Jumper. And one last Jumper that doesn't want to cooperate, and Bad Breaks on through to 4-2. Yeah, not, uh, not exactly the best pace you could be on, but... I think Bad Breaks uh, might be might be satisfied with what he's got right here. This health oh, is yeah. looking good. Uh, you just you could use a little bit more ammo. Uh, again, potentially with like what uh, Bad Breaks has to work with, uh, this could be a very very good run. So uh, let's let's hope let's hope that we see him finish it out. And it'll be interesting to see, he's coming up on the, the Diggler once again. Is he going to forego it again? Uh, this time he's got the health, so he's going to go ahead and tank that damage, which does save a little bit of time versus doing the wall jump. Oh, interesting! He, he, killed those, he killed those two spike cars, but did he actually pick up the drops before the screen transitioned? That, that, that was kind of weird. I don't yeah, know if he got them. Yeah, looks like a... Uh, who, who knows? <laughs> may, 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 may not maybe they were going to be bonus points uh, well no it was one it heart been, it was one heart and one weapon oh, and I, don't know, okay. I don't know if he got it so he is going to go ahead and do the gun strat here he does get rewarded with a weapon drop and he's got plenty of health here this time so even if he does get a bad pattern on the cubes he should be able to survive the fight he's going to take at least two intentional damage here potentially three so let's see uh, where that leaves him. He's able to navigate that section very nicely. And he's actually, looks like he's, okay, he does take a little damage on the tank there, but hopefully some stair drops. Nope, just points. Look, looks like he's uh, uh, not feeling nearly as confident, but... Uh, swaggerang that, again. Yeah, he gets that swag, as soon as I say it, he gets that swaggerang. Uh, maybe he heard me say what, a, <laughs> what oh, I had to do. And, and he uh, misses. Oh man, he's having a rough time with the cubes today. I just. He may just. You know, we mentioned earlier, but Bad Breaks had de rusted this game earlier, meaning that he hadn't played it in a very, very long time, and he just came back to playing it. And even though he's a top tier player, you know, shaking off that rust can be a little difficult. And I imagine he maybe just hasn't uh, practiced the cube boss quite as much as he would have liked. So he's going to take a death there, but he is going to go ahead and finish. Meanwhile, we have Endy Sui 
once again on pace. He's getting his cog skip on and hopefully getting a second cog skip here in just a moment. He does, so he's going to be advancing to Act 4 as well. Yeah, that's really unfortunate for Bad Breaks because it really looked like he was on a, a very decent run. Maybe not uh, PB pace, but uh, hopefully uh, he can shake off uh, what the game is giving him right now. You know, this guy, Bad Breaks, he does not... He, this, this, he can play the game. We, we all know that. So uh, we see Andy, he's coming into 4 1. Bad, and, bad uh, Wow. Really bad pattern. Really bad pattern. He, he <laughs> is in a bit of a bind here. Can he get out of it? You have to get that jumper off the screen. That's the only way he'll stop chasing you. So he does manage to do it, but he's now he's short on uh, weapon drops. So he's going to need those, and he gets a double weapon drop. That was key. But he misthrows the Dirk. He was trying to throw it backwards uh, to get that jumper. But it's, it's really hard to time, actually, and he's going to have to just run away. Um, it's really tricky to time. We haven't talked about this, but when you want to throw a midair Dirk going behind you, um, you have to turn for a little bit longer than you would want to, I guess is the best way to say it. Um, and so that you make sure that Dirk gets off because the, the animation of throwing the Dirk it doesn't come out right away, so you have to kind of wait and then turn back around. It's, it's a little tricky, and Andy kind of got caught up there, so he's going to have to reset. Bad Breaks, meanwhile, taking on Firebug, and uh, Feasible using his wizardry to bring us some Dexter action here as he comes to the end of Act 2. Uh, Shoutouts to Feasel, who is running everything behind the scenes here. He's handling all these screen transitions and uh, trying to help us focus on which runners are, are the furthest and on the best pace. And right now that's going to be Dexter. Yeah, we see uh, Bad Breaks taking on Joker here. Again, uh, the best position for you to fight this boss is right next to him. So once you're right next to Joker, you just start punching away. Hopefully you don't take any sort of damage and uh, doesn't get the Joker glitch, but uh, we we're seeing a little. A <laughs> he, little he is unloading on Joker. So Joker actually, the game doesn't end until you actually go up and touch Joker. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that, and yeah, so he just he decided he wanted to let Joker have it. And Invested Rich coming up on the end of Act Two. Meanwhile, Dexter had a very good three one, so he is moving on, and Dexter is again on a good pace. Hopefully Rich will be joining him shortly. It's going to come down to those jumpers at the beginning of 3-1. Jumpers in 3-2 for Dexter, and he handles them perfectly, as you would expect. And he'll be advancing on into 3-3, hopefully in Act 4. Nice job by Rich there getting through the jumpers as well. So for those asking about the Joker glitch, essentially what happens is it just immediately ends the game. You don't have to wait for the Joker death animation, and uh, you just you're able to stop your timer right then and there. And it's a one-frame trick. You gotta you gotta hit the Joker with your last punch right when the lightning is about to strike. So very very difficult. We haven't seen it yet today, but hopefully we'll have some more opportunities to see it. Yeah, it's, and it's a really it's sort of a big surprise when it happens because you know it just, just uh, it's like the fastest thing ever. <laughs> like the game yeah. just sort of ends, and it's just like, oh, I got it. You know, you're just like, what? Um, I'm sure that uh, throughout the years, you know, this game did come out in uh, what 1989 or 90 or something like that. Uh, I I'm sure that many, many people throughout the years got it, and. I bet a lot of them didn't even realize because they probably didn't know there was a cutscene at the end and it just happened by accident, you know, sometimes you hit something on the perfect frame. And, um, I think I may have been the first person that actually got it on stream uh, back in like 2013 and uh, my reaction was one of shock and awe. I had no idea what had happened and I just was like, wow, did I just save like five seconds because of that? What happened? <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, and then and then uh, some people that are far smarter than I am figured out what the mechanics of it were and how it is actually done and how it can be set up. And now these players have good enough knowledge that they can go for it when they see fit. Um, however, I should mention that if, if a player is on a good enough pace, they actually should not go for the Joker glitch because you do, it gains you 3.5 uh, seconds, but you have to lose uh, you're sacrificing some time if you miss, essentially, versus if you just right. did a, a, a normal fight. 
Um, so it's kind of more in a situation where it's like, in case of emergency, go for Joker Glitch. Um, and most of the time we're going to see them going for it because it's so hard to get on the god pace that you wouldn't need it. Um, so we see Infested Rich needs some weapon luck here. Not getting it yet. Meanwhile, we have Dexter. I think Dexter is on a pretty good pace. Maybe even uh, not doing the Diggler strat here, uh, um, as he has said uh, a couple times, but we will have to see. Uh, Fessage Rich needs some weapons. Uh, hopefully we get some RNGs out there in the chat. Because, oh yeah. Uh, bless, <laughs> bless, bless that RNG right now, guys. We need it. We need it to be blessed, and he gets the Diggler, and a heart drop it looks like, so that's about as good as you can get uh, for that situation. So now Dexter is going to have to make it through this difficult climb section here, hopefully picking up some kind of drops. Ooh, taking an unintentional hit there, that's going to cost him. He has to forgo that weapon, he doesn't need it anyway, but he is going to need to take it a little slow there on that tank. That's going to allow him to take damage there, and he does get another heart, which could come into play. That might be useful, depending on what kind of boss pattern he gets. It is going to come down to the cubes once again, guys. Dexter with a really great door time. Can he close it out? Looking like a good pattern. Oh, he just missed the... Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. no. Just oh, no. couldn't quite finish off that one cube. And that is <sighs> an unfortunate end to his run. He that is a heartbreaker. But meanwhile, Infested Rich, not far behind of where Dexter was, he is now taking his opportunity to do the climb here in Act 4, and hopefully he fares a little bit better against the cubes. He's got three health. He's a little low on health too, but he can afford to tank that damage as you need to to save time here in the stairs. No drops, though. All points. So Rich, Rich is in rough shape here, man. And he looks like he got one more weapon drop there, which is key. Because you do have to use some Batarangs here early in the fight before you start your punching strats. And hopefully he can finish the cube. Nicely done. He took some damage, but he did finish the cube off. He's going to need some luck here. And switching to gun strats takes him out. Yeah, very, very clean. Um, yeah, it's, it's really scary how that second cube, how you have to deal with that second cube. because. Uh, there are a couple of different strats that you can do. Sometimes you can stand uh, far away from him and throw a dirt, or you can just stand right next to the cube and just start punching right away. Uh, and sometimes you'll still you'll still get hit. Uh, unfortunately, Rich uh, taking some damage from that oh, gear yeah. as he went for the wall jump. That's gonna lose him some time, and uh, he has to he has to get a little bit more ammo. I think I don't think he has enough. But uh, he is making his way up this clock tower. Hopefully, he can get through it unscathed. He did get some favorable drops early, but as you noted, he got he took that hit there, and he takes another one. That might be it. Rich was actually on PB pace here. I think with Joker glitch, he might still be able to PB. I could be wrong, but it's going to be tight, so let's see. Hopefully, uh, he is going to get his chance at it at least, and he takes another unfortunate hit there. I don't know. This nah, this one's gonna be close. Let's see if Rich can at least get get the magical position going here. And it looks like he's got it. You just got to keep the rhythm with those batarangs. If you fall out of the rhythm, Firebug will leave that pattern of just jumping back and forth. So Rich, I don't know that he can get it. It's it's really tight. Let's hope we see our first Joker glitch of the day. He's gonna go for it for sure. Here it comes. Strike lightning. Not quite. I don't think that was it. Yeah. Doesn't but get it. a really, really nice run. run. Yeah. Another good run. 10.22 for Infested Rich. That's only seven seconds off of his personal best. And uh, quite a good run. He's going to throw Joker off the roof and probably just take a, take a quick break to collect his thoughts on what went wrong in Act 5 there. That was a tremendous run by him, but he just he had a few mishaps in Act 5, which prevented him from uh, getting to the goal. But good game. Good game by Rich. And most of our players here back in the early stages, we do have Dexter and Bad Breaks both into Act 2. 
Hopefully we see them advancing in Act 3 shortly. Yeah, Bad Breaks, uh, surprisingly, has almost full ammo. And that's like very rare to see. And uh, he's taking some intentional damage. Again, going for these neutral jumps to get this wall jump. Uh, very tight position where you have to make that wall jump there. And you just can see he sort of made a mistake right there. So he lost a little bit of time, just ever so slightly, a half a second. Uh, and moving on to 2-3. He's going to take out these two enemies here at the bottom. There is no real easy way of getting past those two enemies. The best way is just to use the Batarang and uh, collect the drops that you get from them. Yeah, Bad Breaks is... Uh, he's definitely had a bit of a rough time today, but you can see that he's... His play is getting like... like It's just getting a little better, a little better as he goes along. Uh, so you have to figure that at one of these points, he's going to put together a run. I, I feel one coming for him, and let's hope that this is the one. Uh, meanwhile, Dexter has had a lot of chances, but he has also had some very poor luck. Some of his earlier runs got derailed by just not getting weapon drops, and some of the later ones just by you know difficult execution things, or as you guys saw recently, that cube, cube situation that happened, but uh, bad breaks advancing. He's on into 3 1. What kind of jumper luck are we getting? Not good, that's what. He looks handled like he, it very well. Yeah, it looks like he had a, a very interesting way of dealing with uh, the bad RNG. And uh, he's moving on. He wants to see these last two jumpers and uh, see if he can get himself past 3 1. Gets rid of the first one, gets rid of the second one. Meanwhile, Dexter handling jumpers now. And Bad Breaks is through. So hopefully Dexter, not far behind, he's got a few more jumpers to deal with. Uh, this one right here is giving him a favorable pattern. And the second one, not so favorable. Let's hope he can get out of this. Ooh, this is a dicey situation for Dexter, but he makes it through. And Bad Breaks having some trouble with the jumpers in the sewer here. He's going he's gonna to continue, but he took some damage there. Yeah, it took some damage, lost uh, a good amount of time, unfortunately. Uh, as we see Dexter, he's going to take on the same jumpers, see what he gets, and he gets uh, a really good good pattern there. That last jumper looked like he was going to chase him, but uh, he's able to despawn him, get him off the screen, and now he is wall jumping up and out of 3-2. Uh, Moving on. Oh no, Bad Break's taking a fall there. He just missed the wall jump. He was trying to cut it ever so tight. The wall jumps in this game, you know, it's tricky because these guys are wanting to, as soon as the first frame that they could possibly jump off that wall is when they want to jump. And, you know, most players, if you're playing as casually, you're going to be making sure you're butted up against the wall and you, you get your wall jump. But, but every frame counts, like we said. So, you know, Dexter, uh, he's moving on. He's in a little bit of rough shape in terms of his weapon drops. He does have good enough health here. Uh, he is going to have to hope for a drop probably, but he gets the first cog skip. Coming up on the second one, maybe he got a drop there? I don't know. You can never really tell until they cycle through the weapon. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the thing. Well, so at the top left, right where the health bar is, uh, these guys, you'll see, you'll see the logo of Batman and then the health uh, right under them, but that doesn't tell you like what uh, how much ammo they have. It's only until they, they switch through and cycle through their, their weapons that you get to see. And uh, here we have Dexter. He's moving on into 4-1. Maybe not the best of pace, but he's going to keep it. He's going to go through and he gets the really good uh, RNG with the first jumper. And now he just needs to farm a little bit. He could use some oh, ammo. He there's an ammo drop. Health. Yeah. There's the health. You called it. Can he get just a little bit more? He gets away. We could probably solo up Dexter at this point. He is sub 630 going into 4-2. That's exactly where he wants to be. Uh, he's in good shape. All of our other runners kind of in the early game. So let's pay attention to Dexter as he does get a weapon drop there. That was key. He's going to need some more, though. This is kind of that time where you're taking down enemies, but you're having to use a lot of weapons to do it because it's all Dirk. And the Dirk, again, uses three ammo as opposed to the other one. So he gets another weapon drop. Skips a Dirk there wisely, preserves it, and he's got a Batarang for this guy, takes him down to 32. He's going to Dirk, double Dirk there, and he gets points for it. That is not good. 
So he's going to have to take some damage here, and does he kill these last two enemies is the question. No, he is going to pass. So, um, very interesting. Uh, taking some damage there in the beginning, and then skipping, uh, skipping the last damage boost uh, through the second one. Now, I think uh, he might be going for the Diggler here. He's got the Dirk selected. Let's see... There it is. Yeah, I think the uh, I think to be honest, Dexter and uh, Andy have been 100% with that trick. I don't think I've ever seen them miss it as, as it, far it, as they gotten through it. The consistency has just been insane uh, on the Diggler today. You're, normally, that's a trick you see get missed a lot, but these guys have been hitting it like crazy. Dexter, a little low on health here. He's gonna have to take it a little bit slow there so that he can take that stair damage and pray for some drops. He gets a single weapon drop out of those three. That's not really enough. He's uh, again. He's just been in the same situation all day, where he's like one HP, two HP going into this boss, and he just has to hope and pray that he gets the good pattern. Which it looks like he has it this time. Can he execute? He's got one cube down. All right, he needs some luck here. Get the second cube. He gets the luck. Oh my God. Okay, Dexter is on a very good pace right now. This I would say this is world record pace right now. So Dexter has to execute Act 5 perfectly, and he could get world record right before our very eyes. Let's see if he can do it. Let's go, Dexter. Yeah, so the thing with that, that boss that we just saw that's like a big deal is that second cube, like wherever it stops, it's, it's random. So we don't know if it's going to stop uh, far to the right or far to the left. So where it stopped was like right where Dexter was, and that's right where he wants to be. And Dexter is on his way. He's climbing this clock tower. He's making it look easy. And uh, we're all rooting for you, Dexter. Let's let's see it happen right now. Oh, he takes a hit there. That's okay. He's still good. He's a little short on ammo. You'd hope for maybe one more drop. Uh, he doesn't mind taking the damage, though. He figures he's going to get Firebug in that magical position if he's going to do this thing. And here it comes. So he's got enough ammo now. It's just a matter of execution. He's got to get in the magical position. It's two pixels wide. Can he get there? Oh, he didn't get there. Back up. All right, he's got the backup magical position. This could still be good. Firebug is down. It comes down to Joker. He's right next to Joker. He's going to punch him. Keep punching him, and he needs him. Oh, is that the glitch? Oh my god. Oh my he god. Doesn't get it. It's a 1007. Oh my goodness, Dexter, what are you doing to my heart? Oh, another amazing run by Dexter. Two 1007s today. Keep in mind, folks, world record is 1006. Dexter is so close. He is so close. Oh my goodness. You could, I, I think I could tell a little bit there that he was really fishing for that Joker glitch. It looked like he slowed down a little bit. Even even if he sped up his, his Joker fight, I think he would have just tied his world record. So I, I think, think it so. was a good call to just go all in. And yeah. uh, wow, Dexter, this guy, he is playing some Batman today. He is playing out of his mind right now. Two 1007s in the same stream? Are you kidding me? What is this? If we haven't been, he's been playing for like three hours. This is unbelievable. Ah, okay, but we have no rest. This is Chase for the Record, so the action never stops. There are no breaks. Bad breaks is the only break that we have, and he is on into Act 4, so he's looking for a good jumper pattern right here and doesn't get it so he's gonna have to shake this last jumper does a good job of doing that and meanwhile infested rich heading into act three so we've got a couple other runners that are on pace bad breaks again he's he's gotta he's gotta shake this act four man he, it's act four has just had his number all day that jumper has not been cooperating all day but at least he has weapons and health this time he's got full health he's got 47 weapons I think he's got a shot here. Yeah, I think he's in good shape. Uh, as long as he gets some weapon drops coming through this section here in 4-2, again, uh, all these all these jumps, all of these weapon throws, they're as precise as can be. 
and uh, he's not really getting the luck, but um, oh, he got some weapons right there, and uh, he's going to use the Batarang to kill that Flamethrower, and uh, a different strat from Dexter, as you may have noticed, he uses the gun instead of uh, using two dirks to take out that spike car and intentionally taking damage, freezing the spike cars at the end, and he is through to 4-3. This is it, so is it going to be Diggler time or not? Uh, uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what, what Bad Breaks is thinking right now. Yeah, it's hard to tell what, what uh, he bases his decisions on. You know, uh, we've seen him just go for gun strats here. Uh, he has the dick. So he's like got it. the dirk this time, though. He's just—he's unpredictable, man. And he hits it. The bad breaks is in there, man. I think this—this is—this is the time for him. He took that slight fall there. He needs to just collect himself, just take a second, take a breath. Bad breaks. The cubes are gonna do it for you this time, man. They've been—they've been doing you dirty all day, but I really think that uh, they're gonna give him the good RNG that he needs this time. And even if they don't, he does actually have a pretty good amount of health this time around if he can manage to pick up a couple drops here on this ascent oh he passes that hard up that's okay i think he's i think he's still in good enough shape here yeah so this is this has been his nemesis uh, all day it's the in, cubes it's, it's att attempts so the we're gonna see how he handles it okay he's up he's up there so hopefully he's able to take the cubes down not quite finish it off no. Okay, he's got it. Once you get that first cube down, everything else is not as hard. Uh, I just got to hope not to get too bad of a pattern here. He went for the punch stress, man. Bad Break's going hardcore. He doesn't care right now. He doesn't give a damn. So he is going in, and Bad Break's on into Act 5. He's in a little bit of a jam here, though. He took that hit, which actually manipulates kind of the rest of the stage in a way that is not good. So he has to kind of slow down there, and he's taking some damage. And all kinds of funny things are happening now. This is all triggered by that one guy hitting him in the beginning. Yeah, the uh, beginning of stage five, like, uh, again, it's just very minute uh, with these details, but uh, the enemies that are spawning on the screen just have uh, a set pattern. And if you mess up uh, the way that the enemies uh, like start moving and stuff like that, will all be messed up if uh, if he makes any sort of mistake. So meanwhile, we do have Infested Rich on a pretty good pace here, and he managed to... He's had a rough weapon situation going pretty much this whole time. Uh, he's at 35 right now, which is not ideal, but he is able to take that damage and move along into 4-3. Uh, Let's see if he has a little bit better luck than Bad Breaks did. He's going to need it. Meanwhile, Bad Break's heading into the bosses. Hopefully he's going to finish out this run without Firebug giving him too hard of a time. Nice Diggler there from Infested Rich. Bad Break's meanwhile finding himself in trouble, and he couldn't quite get the magical position there, so he's going to have to take a rematch with his good buddy Firebug. Oh, and Rich not getting the full jump there. That jump is a little awkward. There's some times that um, I feel like it's RNG that you will uh, not be able to clear that little uh, thing that you're jumping on. Yeah, it's like like a, a, there's like a bad pixel. There are a couple of bad pixels that right. where, where you jump from and uh, you just won't get the full jump onto the little conveyor belt platform. Yeah, so pretty unfortunate, but um, Rich still trucking along here, so let's see what kind of pattern he gets on the cubes. And I think this is the bad pattern. Oh, but he didn't get hit there, so he might have just navigated it better. I don't know. Uh, and oh, he was one punch away from finishing off that cube. And he did manage to pick up some weapons, it looks like, so he's going to be able to finish out his run. Joker is off the roof. Bad Breaks finishing out another run. Uh, you got to give it, give Bad Breaks credit, man. He's had a rough time today, but he has been persistent. He's been finishing out his runs, and uh, one of them is going to come together for him. It's just a matter of time. Meanwhile, Rich picking up some nice weapon drops there, and he is on his way to the climb. Yeah, look, looking pretty good on uh, on health. Uh, this first. Uh, flamethrower guy, he's gonna punch, he's gonna punch that car to use that 
that uh, that platform to jump from, and you, they're they're doing everything intentionally here throughout this, this section because they want the wall jumps to be synced up just right so that they don't have to make an extra wall jump or anything like that. And Rich is approaching the final two bosses. His pace is lagging a little behind of what he would like it to be, but he is going to go ahead and finish out the run. See if he can get a good fire bug here as Dexter makes his way into 3-3. And fire bug getting out of line. Rich gets him right back in line. You can get the magical position actually exists on uh, a couple of different planes. There's those pillars that are in the background, and you can kind of line yourself up with both. Uh, let's see if Rich can pull off this Joker glitch here. It'd be the first one to do it today. And oh, oh I think I he think got it. it! I think that's it! Yep. He got it! Joker glitch by Infested Rich. Very nicely done. So you can see the game just ends. It's all over. You get kind of get that glitch lightning, and then uh, next thing you know, you're throwing Joker off the roof. Great job, Infested Rich. 1022 with the Joker glitch. Good Fantastic. show. So that's that's like we we've seen everything that these guys uh can do with batman and uh if you just put it all together you, you're gonna have like a really good a good record <laughs> yeah that's it i mean just imagine guys that's what there there have been i think three separate times both of dexter's uh 1007s if he would have got that glitch that rich just showed off would have been world record and i think I think one of Endy's runs, he would have he would have at least gotten a PB if he had hit Joker Glitch, or both of, both of his runs that got deep. So, yeah, really great stuff. Dexter is having a terrible time in 4-1. What else is new? 4-1 murdering another run. That's uh, that's not news here, but yeah, Andy, the jumpers. Yeah, Endy coming up uh, right behind him, and again, just yeah, these these jumpers, the relentless. We've seen these guys go through it uh, dozens of times, and uh, just, I mean, maybe 10% of the of, of seeing these guys that give them something good. Yeah, Andy having a bit of a rough time with those jumpers, but Andy is on a great pace here. This I would say this is PB pace for Andy, for sure. Uh, Dexter has lagged a little bit behind on his pace, but he's still capable of... Uh, anything because he's Dexter. so let's see how these guys make out they both have pretty good health situations Andy with slightly more weapons for the moment Dexter needing a little bit of help in the weapons department he is going to take the damage so Dexter going in man he's <laughs> he's done this kind of all day like he has just thrown caution to the wind he knows he's close he's gotten two 1007s today so he's like, you know what? I'm taking all the damage. Give me all the frames. I'm going to need them all. And then I'm going to hit the Joker glitch on one of these runs, and it's going to be record. As he nails the Diggler like it's an easy trick. Yeah. yeah. The, the, these guys, we're going to see Andy, uh, see what sort of decision he, he makes. Uh, he's only got four health, so he's a little bit low. And uh, his ammo is good. He's got the Dirk uh, selected. So he's going to go for it. Andy nails it. These guys, I swear, they're 100% on this trip it's, today. It's, it's absurd. It's just absurd that they can hit it like this every time. I mean, even as top players in the game, like you still will miss like two frame tricks sometimes. It's just, it's called being human. <laughs> but apparently this does not apply to both of these guys. So Dexter needs the cube luck. Is he going to get it? Bad pattern, good pattern. What's it going to be? He takes down the first cube. All right, if he can get good cube luck again here, he is going to be in great shape. And that's not the luck he needed, but that's okay. He's still on a very, very good pace here. I think he might be even with his world record pace. So good climb and Joker glitch will do it for him for sure. And maybe oh. if he just... Uh, <laughs> so uh, we actually saw Andy right there. Just uh, taking out the first cube looked like he was on a good pace as well, and uh, the second cube just snipes him. Uh, unfortunately, ending his good run, but we see Dexter. Uh, he he might be on a pretty good pace. He takes some oh, damage no. there, and oh no, and he Dexter. just that's immediately. He doesn't even want to finish it. He's he's mad. Yeah. 
Dexter's mad. He knows it. He was he, he was pretty much even with his world record pace going into five, and he actually I I I can't remember now. He's had like too many world records that if if that's the one that has a good act five or a bad act five. Um, either way, he is going to take a reset there. Another valiant effort from Dexter, who's already <laughs> he's already had two ten oh sevens today. I mean, you know. What can you expect? What is he going to get? Another one? Is he going to get world record? It's it's amazing what he's doing. So Andy looks like he's going to finish up his run, and then we have uh, Infested Rich and Bad Breaks both traveling through 2-1. Maybe Andy will get Joker Glitch this time. Yeah, uh, let's hope we see more than one. Because <laughs> uh, it's a pretty, pretty vital trick. Uh, to improving the record, I would say you can you can improve the record without it for sure, but it requires uh, you know the stars to align like perfectly. So unfortunately, Andy, uh, uh oh, you know, just <laughs> and he just, just says gonna, no, just gonna he call says it no. Yeah. Oh man, that reminds me of a story I heard once. This this guy told me I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say who it was, but. Uh, he, he told me he was playing Batman as a kid, and he he like had a really tough time with the game, but it was really hard and challenging and fun. And he like he eventually he got to the final stage, and then he said he got to Firebug, and he got so scared of Firebug he just powered the game off. He didn't even play. <laughs> he was just like, no, I can't do it. I can't do it. Firebug's too scary. <laughs> so so I feel like that's kind of what what Andy just had happen there. He was just like, I can't even. Do, I can't. I can't play Firebug. It's over, man. Yeah, once Firebug like stops, starts hopping around, he starts throwing fireballs. It's the most, uh, I don't know, unwinnable situation. It seems like. <laughs> <laughs> Fiesel saying that I was that kid in the story. <laughs> no, it was. It was actually. It was not me. I swear. Uh, or maybe it was, and I overcame my demons and finally beat Firebug for the first time. But we have everybody in the early game, so this would be a good time to just uh, remind everybody to follow all of our runners. They are amazing. They are competing for the world record in Batman. Uh, all of them have times within 10 seconds of each other, with Dexter being the current world record holder at 10.06. But that could change within uh, minutes, as we've seen today. There's certainly the chance for that. Uh, if you're watching out there in front page land, come on into the chat. Come follow Speed Gaming. Speed Gaming has all kinds of awesome tournament content, especially a Link to the Past randomizer. There will be a few matches following this broadcast, and you do not want to miss that. That game is absolutely amazing. It's been kind of the newest craze in speedrunning, and it's very, very exciting stuff. So... Be sure to check that out afterwards, and uh, hopefully we'll have a few more decent runs here, and I think we're eventually going to do a, a race that anybody is free to join. It'll be a community race uh, if you want to try your luck at this Batman game. Uh, you can race against these guys. They'll do a final race to finish it out, and uh, we're going to do that probably within the next 30 minutes or so, but for now, more world record attempts. Yeah, it looks like uh, Bad Breaks is the furthest along, and um, interesting thing to note, uh, whenever you do these these wall jumps, you can actually gain a little extra height whenever you attack. So Bad Breaks uses that to his advantage by uh, attacking in the air near that shortcut at the beginning of 2-1, and then he goes back for another wall jump just to save a little bit of time. It's a very cool looking strat. And uh, he's moving on, getting these neutral jumps. Looks like he got hit by the gun guy right there. Uh, taking damage just stops you completely. And uh, just losing a little bit of time, but still on good pace. So we have Bad Breaks and Dexter both in Act 2. Players have been doing a great job of getting out of the early game. I gotta say, we have seen a ton of 3, 4, and 5 today. Which, uh, you know, with this kind of setup, you, you never know. When you're making world record attempts in this game, like these guys are, you can spend an awful lot of time in the, in the first few stages. It's not uncommon at all. But these guys have really came to play today. They brought their A game. Make sure you drop them a follow. Um, 
these guys are all doing a, a fantastic job and very very entertaining stuff today we've seen joker glitch we've seen amazing runs we've seen all kinds of tricks getting hit diggler left and right by by people i mean it's it's been fun so bad breaks taking on this uh second boss and uh again just making quick work of all of these weak points making sure that the uh the third phase does not uh extend any longer and now he has to deal with some rng looks like he's getting some good rng and uh that's that's the best you can hope for <laughs> because this whole section nothing sometimes nothing goes right yeah that's kind of the story in batman a lot of times <laughs> nothing going right i'm not getting drop luck i need i'm not getting the jumper patterns i need i'm not hitting two frame tricks that i need <laughs> like that's kind of the story, but uh, Dexter has managed to make his way into Act 3 yet again and navigated those pesky first two jumpers, so he is going to be on his way to the promised land and bad breaks as well. He's uh, handling a few jumpers of his own in 3-2, so we're going to see both of these guys hopefully in 3-3 in uh, just a few moments. Yeah, very, uh, very dicey situation there for Dexter. That last jumper, he sort of kept him alive and... Uh, we could have chased them down, but it's very fortunate to be moving on into 3-2, uh, the bottom of the sewers. There are two more jumpers. He just needs to make sure he hits them, and he will be able to move past them. Hopefully he doesn't get chased down, and he is moving on, avoiding the spike cars, and he just has to climb up this section, try not to make any sort of movement mistakes. And a really nice pace by Dexter, 4.50 transition time. Bad breaks, meanwhile, in good shape once again. He has uh, enough health here. Let's see if he opts to go for cog skips this time. He's going to take a pass on the cog skips right now. Uh, I'm not sure what Dexter's going to do. His health is a little bit low. Um, not low, I should say, but I mean, you know, uh, that taking that hit there, yeah, he, he's. I think he's going to be set. So. Yeah, Dexter is one of, uh, I guess, one of these old school runners, you know. Any sort of mistake, boom, just hit the reset button. We don't want it. Just, uh, we, we want a, a new record. So uh, this guy, he's grinded out many attempts, many games. And yeah. uh, that's that's how speedrunning goes sometimes. So we see bad breaks low on weapons and getting the good jumper pattern, though. So that's going to help. And hopefully he can get some drops here in Drop Alley. And he does get a weapon drop right off the bat. And we'll see what kind of strat he uses here. He's going to Batarang for some health, double Dirk, and it looked like points there. So he's in a little bit of a tough spot. Meanwhile, Endy entering into Act 3, a tough spot of his own. But he navigates the jumpers perfectly. And bad breaks, eight weapons going into 4-2. Not where you want to be. Yeah, he's trying to farm these guys, and, uh, oh gosh. Three uh, weapons, so he's not even going to use the Dirk here. I think he's going to take a hit here. No, he actually did a slower strat. Uh, I thought he was just going to tank damage, but... So unfortunately, ah. just uh, forfeiting some time here, and it might just be and, a reset. Yeah, he finally gets a weapon drop, but it's it's almost too little too late at this point. He gets another weapon drop, and you got to feel for him. It's like, where were those weapon drops, like, four enemies ago? Come on, game. Andy, on the other hand, is doing okay. His health situation looks healthy. We'll have to wait for him to weapon cycle to see where he's at with that. But uh, he's at 77. That's a pretty good place to be. Bad Breaks is going to take out those spike cars. It looks like he did get at least a weapon drop out on one of them. And it's time to tank some damage. And yeah. I think it's going to be Diggler time this time. What about you? Let's place your bets, everybody, in the chat. We don't know. Is he going gun strat? Is he going Diggler strat? Uh, I, I would say he's just going to do it. <laughs> he, it looks like he is doing it. He's got the he's got the Dirk out, and he does complete it. So another Diggler. Uh, it's it, I would say, if we had to take like the percentage between all the players today, it's probably over. 80% that they've been hitting it. I think it's been missed like three or four times total between all the yeah, players. Yeah, I think so. Pretty, pretty absurd consistency rate. So, uh, so Andy finding himself again in a little bit of a pickle, but he actually picked up a heart there, it seems. So he should have 
a little bit of extra health here after he takes down Electrocutioner. And he's going to be advancing to Act 4 again. Yeah, very good coup kill on uh, the Stage 3 boss. And he's down, uh, not, doesn't have full health, but he gets oh, a very good pattern. Wow, some very different strats there in uh, the beginning of 4-1. I'm kind of uh, impressed. And yeah. let's let's see if he can get past these uh, last two hoppers. He gets past the first one. Second one's oh, giving him some trouble. Awkward but... pattern there, awkward pattern. But he handled it well, so he had to take some extra damage, which is going to cost him in the long run. But he does have the weapons, so he's got to kind of hope for some good drops. But it looks like that was mostly points and one ammo drop there. Um, hearts, hearts are needed. Hearts are needed for our good friend Andy Sui, who is on his way to finishing what would be, I believe, his fourth or fifth run of the day. He's been pretty consistent today. So Bad Breaks, uh, looks like he's going to be finishing probably his best uh, finish time of the day if he can handle Firebug. He's, he's had his struggles today with Firebug, as we all do. Firebug is nasty. Uh, you got to get in that two pixel window on either side of those green pillars in the background in order to keep him in the Batarang loop. And plenty of weapons though for Bad Breaks, so even if things go, go south, he will be able to finish the game here. Yeah, we'll see uh, what Andy chooses to do here as Bad Breaks. He gets the setup, and Andy over here, again, 100% <laughs> on the Diggler. There's no stopping these guys. They're just going to nail all the hard stuff, and uh, for good reason. This is Chase for it, the it, record, and uh, to get the record, you got to do this, this hard stuff. You got to do it. And, and it's just, it like trivializes. We're like trying to explain these tricks are hard, and they just get them every time. People are probably watching like, yeah, sure, that trick's hard. He's got it like t 10 times in a row, but it's like, you go and try that yourself. Trust me, you will see just how difficult uh, some of these tricks are. So Andy had some really unfortunate luck there with his health. As Bad Breaks gets a, a, I believe that 1047 might be his top time of the day. So well done by Bad Breaks. That's, that's better than my PB. Um, Joker's off the roof. Andy, meanwhile, with the 1 HP and not a favorable pattern for our friend Andy. So he is going to have to take a reset. And most of our players are in stage one. So we're back to, we're back to ground zero here. It's been some good attempts today, though. Yeah, so so far, really good showing. Um, and yeah, for all of these runners to just, I don't know, get as close to the record as they have been, uh, I think it's very impressive. So are there any games that you think would uh, fit this format that we haven't seen yet? I mean, there have to be some out there. We just uh, haven't uncovered all of them, or, or n the number of runners running them are not uh, active at the same time. Right. So what's, yeah. What, what's like? What's what would you want to see? Uh, I think I would definitely want to see one of the Ninja Gaiden games. Oh yeah, yeah that, that think... would be good. that would be good. So with Ninja Gaiden, let's see. So we've got Arcus, who's just leaps and bounds in front of everybody at this point. Infested Rich tried to compete with him a little bit there, and he got a very very good time, but eventually Arcus just kind of separated himself, and he's like at eleven forty. It's it's absurd. Um, Ninja Gaiden 2, uh, uh, some of these guys have played Ninja Gaiden 2, uh, Infested Rish and Endy have both done very, very well in Ninja Gaiden 2, but that record was taken recently by Beko, Japanese player that's very, very strong, and he got, uh, I believe, 1004 is where that record stands at the moment. Absolutely insane. Yeah. Absolutely insane run. Um, yeah, I think if, if we had enough competitors, it would absolutely be a phenomenal choice to have a Ninja Gaiden game. That would that would be amazing. I'd the be all about it. The only other game I, I can I would, I would uh, really like to see, I guess maybe perhaps one of the Mega Mans. You know, Mega Man's always traditionally very competitive. So mm -hmm. like any Mega Man or Mega Man X. So, uh, X, yeah, yeah, that one of the X games would be good. Well, we, we did have Mega Man in, uh, I believe it was January. It was just before AGDQ because a couple of these guys, 
uh, Dexter and Andy, along with White Hat and Cool Kid, had a race, of course, at AGDQ 2017. And we did the chase for the record Mega Man to kind of hype that up. Um, I don't know if there's enough players active on any of the other Mega Man games that are world yeah, record that's caliber. Yeah. That's, that's, that's like the cool. hardest thing is to find like like you. There's so many games where you just wish that there'd be you know the caliber of player all competing or. But it's just it's rare that this happens in the speedrunning world. So when it does happen, it's kind of like you gotta you gotta take advantage of it and, and uh, you know see these people all going for the record at the same time. I think. Um, Super Mario 64 might not be a bad one, you know, that's the cheese, uh, of course, has the world record. He got that 139, and there were two other players that are very close. Of course, Punkation, who's uh, capable of 139, and Batora, but I don't think that Batora streams on Twitch, unfortunately. So, I don't know if we could do that, but I've thought about trying to do a multi-game version of this. I think it would be pretty cool because then you could just feature whatever, you know, top games have world record competitors in them and then, um, you know, hopefully you'd always have somebody on some kind of run that was world record pace. Sure, yeah. Which, which would be cool. Uh, it would be might be a little tougher on the viewers because you'd have to be explaining things a lot more and, you know, if you're swapping between uh, games. But it could work. So Dexter into Act 3 once again. And he's got the ammo this time. He doesn't have the best health, but he's got those jumpers handled for sure. Yeah, looking pretty good. There's going to be two more jumpers coming right here. The first one jumps right out the screen. That's the best thing that could happen. And that second one, you just want to hit him with a dirk and then finish him off with uh, some punching. And uh, he's moving on to 3-2. You know, another game that would be really good for this is uh, Super Mario Brothers, because not all these runners are active right now, but I don't know if, if folks know about a guy named Sum Wes. He was actually... he I think he might have been on a 455 pace. I could be wrong about this. It was definitely a low 456 pace, but he could have been on a 455 pace, and he lost it to uh, a pipe in 8-4. Um, so he's a top player, and then of course you have Darby and you have uh, Cosmic D, Andrew G, all those guys. You know that they're all top players in that game. Um, so that's it. That like that would be a cool game to do it with. Uh, yeah, I agree. I think I think Mario won uh, this year. We've just seen uh, the runners you mentioned just really ramp up the attempts, and uh, yeah, they're getting. Uh, I don't know how far that record's going to go. It probably will just. They're not going to stop until they get 455, maybe? Oh, yeah. Four, 455 is going to happen at some point. It's just a matter of when. And then, you know, who knows what glitch they'll have to find next or what setup they'll have to find next to make 454 possible. But I think that's that's really pushing it, though. I think, I, don't, I don't know that uh, 454 is something that can happen without a major discovery at this point, even if they were to get, like, all the extra frame rules in every stage or something. I don't know that they could get a... A 454. Meanwhile, Dexter uh, taking on Electrocutioner yet again. He's not in a great health situation, and he gets the quick kill finally. That's, I believe, the first quick kill we've seen on Executioner. Yeah, and... I think so. Uh, maybe the first for Dexter, and uh, he's got to be feeling pretty good. He gets good luck there, and uh, his ammo's looking good. He just needs the health. Just needs the health. That's all it takes. But with all that ammo, he is going to... And there's a health drop right there. All that ammo has got to give him some feeling of security and uh, handling the jumpers very well as he always seems to do. Bad pattern from that jumper and he has to take a hit, that's unfortunate. He was trying to freeze him with the Batarang and hitbox him, you know, because as we mentioned earlier in the stream, you know, you, you hit hitbox an enemy and then you can move through them while they're in their stunned animation. Because they have those uh, frames where they won't be able to damage you, but just missed it. So Dexter is on pace though. The reason we know that is because he hasn't reset yet. By the yeah. way, in case, in case you haven't been, in case you haven't been paying attention, so we might want to single up Dexter at this point. He is pretty deep in the run, and he is on a good pace. Uh, nobody else is really that far into a run at the moment. So Dexter entering into the always deadly four-three. 
And he is going to have to take it a little bit slow. He does not have the health. And he's going to be going for the Diggler yet again. Can he keep the streak going? That is the question. And can he maybe get some heart drops along the way here? Because he's just not in great shape health-wise. Oh, no. His punch didn't come out. First Diggler miss by Dexter. Wow. All day, and it costs him a run. So yeah. he is going to have to reset. Infested Rich is going to head into Act 3. He is the furthest along now. Maybe we can single him up and see how he does. He is getting past the jumpers there. They're giving him a little bit of trouble, but um, he is through. And we have to say, once again, thanks to Feasel, who is an absolute wizard, switching these layouts like this, man. He, he makes it very, very watchable, this stream. You, know? you kind of just get to focus on uh, where the action is. And unfortunately, the action is with that jumper making Infested Rich reset, and we're going to go back to quad box layout now because everybody's in the early game yet again. So, that happens in Batman. Yeah, again, those jumpers, uh, very random. There's, there's, no, uh, there's no static sort of pattern to them, so uh, when you make it to three... When you make it to stage three, you're just you're just praying. <laughs> you're praying for for good stuff. You can slow down, you know, de deal with the deal with them properly. But again, you're just costing yourself some time. And these guys, to get the record, you got to get the best uh, movement. You got to not be slowing down whatsoever. No time to slow down. Only time to go fast in this game. And it looks like Dexter is, again, through stage one. He's just been... He's been getting, like, almost every single run to, to Act 3 or further, it seems like. It's just been kind of crazy the way that he's been able to so consistently get through. But then again, that's that's why he has the world record of 10.06 in this game. Not far behind him is Endy with that 10.09. Bad Breaks and Infested Rich sharing a 10.15 in a tie for third place. And you have our top four players, all from Sweden, all masters of the Batman. So it looks like Rich is going to get through as well. And Andy made it through stage one as well. Yes, yeah, so we have uh, multiple runners in stage two. Uh, again, uh, Festive Rich is going to take this little shortcut in this little shortcut right here. He's going to jump off the side of that platform. And uh, that just skips a portion of the stage over to the right. He's going to punch through this, these two flamethrower guys, switch to the dirt, and use two of them to kill that flamethrower guy, and then stun the spike car at the end there. And then one more dirt at the end here to take out the proximity mine and the spike car. So right in that first section of uh, stage two, you may be like, glossing over it, but there's just all sorts of things happening. Uh, to get the optimal time that you want. And it looks like Dexter has advanced to the next stage. Andy not too, too far behind, and then Rich not too far behind them. So we have uh, three runners here pacing through Act 2. Hopefully they all three will advance to the ever-deadly Act 3 where we first encounter those jumper enemies that nobody really likes, but they have to be dealt with. It's just part of the game. And looks like uh, Dexter is going to be the first one to get to the boss here. Weapon situation is a little less than desirable, unfortunately, for him, but he does have full health, which is good. Ooh, very good. Yeah, he's handling uh, Stage 2 boss very well. At the beginning of this fight with the big machine, the first phase like shoots out a bullet, and Dexter jumped right into it, and thankfully he did not land before that bullet hit him, or else Batman would have been sent backwards, and uh, that would have lost him some time. Now he's getting some really good jumper luck, he's taking out these enemies, and every, each time he kills these enemies, he's collecting drops too, so hopefully he's getting the weapons he needs. He's only at 26, and uh, unfortunately that's a hard drop, that's not going to help him, but... Full health heart is the worst heart. <laughs> yeah. That's just like a kick in the you-know-what. So, 
Dexter's still going though, man. He he can handle these situations. You know, he's as I mentioned before played this game pacifist, so he's even prepared for situations where he has zero weapons. He'd have to slow down significantly, and another full health heart drop. What is the game trying to do to Dexter, man? Come on, don't you know this guy's trying to get world record right now? Let's go. Give him some weapon drops. Help him out, game. Andy also advancing, so he's on pace. And we have Dexter and Andy featured now. So Dexter, still in need of a weapon drop, but he is keeping aggressive. He's keeping with his aggressive style. And two more enemies down. Doesn't look like he got a weapon drop from those guys. Yeah, uh, but hopefully he won't need it. You see Dexter, he's uh, coming up to the cog section. And uh, yeah, hopefully, we're going to hope to see that he gets some sort of weapon drop from the last tank. But he's got to get past these cogs first. Uh, hopefully skipping them. Again, these jumps are very precise. Uh, you, the cogs on the right side of the screen are supposed to damage Batman and uh, by taking damage from the flamethrower guys by doing the right wall jumps they're able to avoid taking that damage and uh, Dexter is moving on we see Andy right behind him uh, also doing pretty good on weapons and uh, health so Oh, Dexter with the quick kill again, and he did pick up one weapon drop there at the end, but he's still in really rough shape with only 15. Gonna need help here in uh, Drop Alley. Let's hope that he gets it. First chance is right here, and he does get a weapon drop. Second chance, he gets a health drop. That's always welcome. Third chance. Looks like he might have picked up one weapon drop there, and another weapon drop, and Dexter is... he's kind of in business right now. I mean, he, he still needs a little more help, but he, he's on pace yet again. He is yeah. on pace. Yeah, it looks like there's no stopping this guy. I think he can feel it. Maybe uh, he knows in my, his mind he's been so close. Maybe he can get the one attempt he needs and get this world record right now. Uh, Hopefully uh, you guys are enjoying this action. This is Chase for the record on Speed Gaming. And uh, thank you for tuning in as we see Dexter making a few small mistakes, but uh, hopefully he shakes that off and uh, he gets back to where he needs to be weapons wise and health wise. He did get a few decent weapon drops there. So Dexter gonna have to take it a little bit safe at the beginning of this stage here. He's not gonna be able to take the two damage, but he's gonna once again probably be getting into the cubes on very low health and hoping for a favorable pattern. But before that happens, he is gonna have to get the Diggler. Now he missed it last time, and I know as a speedrunner that can definitely get in your head. Like as soon as you miss a trick, your confidence goes down just a little bit. And he's actually going to pull the gun out this time, which his pace is good, but I didn't think it was that good. He does get rewarded with a weapon drop, so let's see how it goes for him now. He's going to have to take some extra damage as he approaches the boss here. A um, couple more enemies, but he has some chances at drops. He's going to have, I believe, five, five or six chances at uh, drops here. He's going to have to not take damage on this guy, take some damage here. And it looks like mostly points, maybe one weapon, and he's got the one HP. He's clinging to life. Another weapon. And another weapon. Okay, he just needs to survive this fight right now. That is all that he needs to do. Oh, gosh. All right, one cube is down, but he... Oh, no, he stood up just too early. So that second Poor cube... Dexter. Yeah, that second cube... Uh ends up sniping him, nice. and that is the, uh, the end of his attempt. It looks like he's gonna go ahead and finish this out. Yeah, I think he's gonna finish this out, and then I believe uh, this may end up being the last set of attempts. Uh, Fiesel may be calling it now, because I think that we were gonna do the one more race, which we're running out of time here, so... I think, yeah, after Dexter finishes this one, it's going to be race time, and then we're going to be moving on to The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past randomizer matches. Right after this, elimination matches. You want to stick around for those. Trust me, they have been amazing. Uh, for those of you that don't know, randomizer is a tournament where the chests and the uh, non-playable characters and other item locations have been randomized, so where you would normally get 
an item, you might get a different item. And basically, you need to kind of think on your feet and figure out where to go next in order to advance yourself through the game. It's different every time. You never know what you're going to get. And you're racing against an opponent, and you don't know what they're doing because uh, you're not able to follow along with what is going on on their side of things. So pretty exciting stuff. And uh, Dexter's looking like he's just going to say, forget it. Let's go for a race. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, we'll have to check with Fiesel. Um But yeah, definitely check out the link to the past. It's uh, very interesting. Again, you're just racing to beat the game as fast as possible, but you gotta find uh, all of these random items. Uh, there, are, there are certain items that you need to complete each dungeon. So you're constantly looking and you're constantly trying to do everything as fast as you can. So it's uh, it's pretty hectic. It's very interesting. And uh, yeah, if you haven't seen it, please check it out. Uh, it's been the biggest uh, thing uh, recently on speed gaming. So again, thank you for tuning in to uh, Chase for the Record. So we didn't get to see the world record today, and I, I am being told that there is actually not going to be a final race. So they are just going to go ahead and do a few last attempts before we close out the stream. But uh, Dexter coming within a second twice. He just needed Joker glitch at the very end of the run, and he would have had world record. But that's the kind of excitement you want to see and you can expect to see if you follow the runners. Uh, they're all constantly going for world records in their various games, Batman included. And uh, they're going to be bringing you exciting streams, so make sure you give all of them a follow. And it uh, looks like maybe Dexter is going to finish out another attempt with Rich here. And then we're probably going to call it call it a day on this one. Yeah, again, uh, these guys, they got really, really close. And uh, uh, I can speak from experience, like, doing attempts on this game, like, it's not the most it's not as insane as, like, say, any other uh, NES game, but it's like it's just as taxing, like ten minute attempts each time, and uh, uh, we're, I'm really pulling for Dexter on this one. Like he's been really close, and he uh, might be able to, to do it on this last these last set of runs. Yeah, he's just been getting more and more consistent as the runs have been going, and you know I wouldn't be surprised if he gets another run into Act Three right now. Um, meanwhile, Infested Rich uh, getting ready to take on the boss, so he might be able to get one more. Our other two runners have uh, called it a night because they know they, they can't have enough time for another run. Or maybe they're just spent at this point. <laughs> yeah, I think um, uh, Bad Breaks has informed me that he's his I would, just can't yeah, take it. <laughs> I, I, would, I would be pretty worn out. These guys have been going for nearly four hours, by the way, doing attempts. In fact, Rich had started earlier. He was he was doing attempts before this uh, stream even started, and he got a PB. <laughs> he got a 10.15, like probably not even an, uh, an hour and a half before the stream kicked off. So, so great, great job by all of our runners today. And uh, we see... Dexter is giving it that one last try before he wraps up, but you know, don't forget these guys are going to be streaming more attempts later. So as long as you follow them, you'll you'll be able to keep track of their progress and hopefully see a world record live. There's there's really nothing like it, man. I don't know what's. Do you remember the last record you saw uh, live, Justin? Uh, I think I w was watching Zosti uh, do his thing in Super Metroid, uh, being. Uh, the game reverse boss order <laughs> so oh nice very very late at night you got a new world record in that game and uh yeah seeing it live you know it's every, everyone's going crazy oh yeah and, that's uh, that's a good one to see for sure yeah <laughs> never never want to miss a zosty run I've, I've missed far too many of those for my liking but uh yeah plenty of good memories of the times that i did see him get world record as well so yeah, Dexter uh, looks like he is going to go ahead and get a crack at Act 3 for the final time. And his pace is good. His pace is solid. Let's see how he handles the jumpers. He's been handling them like a pro, and he has to take damage when you get that pattern. But um, uh-oh, a little bit of trouble now. Oh, can he get out of this one? I don't know. All right, he wow. got out. Yeah. <laughs> he very, got out. Very nicely done able to shake off that, that one jumper. It was very, 
it's very very uh, suspicious with with how like how he was acting but uh as long as he's moving on he's on to three two um he's gonna have to deal with more jumpers at the bottom oh boy and uh the, actually, I would say most of these runners have been dealing with it very well, so... Um, right there, Dexter just very clean through that section, and uh, the only thing I would be concerned about is uh, how his health is shaping up to be. He's, only, he's down about 3 health, and uh, he could use a little bit more because if he wants to do this cog skip climbing in this section. Yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely a tough section, and... He's been handling it well all day. Oh, but this time, I think he is going to have to call it a run, unfortunately. Un Infested Rich still going. He's our last hope. Can he do it? He's got the health. He's got the weapons. He handles the first jumper. He handles the second jumper. He is going to get the crack at this. So we are going to solo up Infested Rich. It's our last attempt of the day on Chase for the Record, guys. We hadn't seen the record today, but we have seen some amazing runs, including two that were just a second off of world record. Uh, not something that you'll see very often. And Rich handling things pretty well. He's uh, moving along here, and hopefully he gets it. He's had some good pace runs too today, Just Defend. Yeah, definitely. Like, uh, he could definitely have gotten himself a. Uh a new PB, even with the one he just got today, so... Yeah. Like... He got that one before the stream, man. He should have saved it for, like, <laughs> you know, right. just... <laughs> I, I saw him streaming, and I was getting like, yeah, don't... Don't, don't wear yourself out. <laughs> but, he, he, he did get the Joker glitch on stream, which nobody else did today, so if nothing else, he can claim that over his peers. Yeah, so... We we know this guy, he... He, he can do the business in Batman. Uh, as we see, uh, again, Bad Breaks and Dexter, they're hanging it up for today. Uh, Dexter says he's he's pretty frustrated, but he gave it a good effort. Uh, oh, yeah. I think quite, there's no shame. Quite an effort there, and uh, Rich does take down Electrocutioner, so he is going to get a crack at Act 4 with a less-than-ideal health and weapon situation and jumper situation. So he's going to have a challenge ahead of him here. Uh, does get a weapon drop there, but he's got to shake that jumper, and he does finally get him off screen. But he has to kind of adjust things now because of the way he handled that. And double points is not what we're looking for at this stage of the game, unfortunately. Yeah, and so that first room for for Rich just uh, <laughs> everything didn't go very well, and uh, now he's down on health, and. Uh, He's trying to farm up some ammo and health. It's just not happening for him, it looks like. He is in the middle of a points parade, unfortunately. And those points do not help you. We are not doing high score attempts. We are doing world record attempts. And you need ammo and you need health in those attempts. So, Rich, a little bit short on both, but he's a trooper. He's going to keep it going. And he gets another points drop there, unfortunately. It's been all points all the time. Yeah, you might be, so everyone watching might be asking, like, where, where are the points displayed? So actually what happens is when you pause the game, it shows you how many points you have. So uh, That's a good 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 mention. We, we did not talk about that. That's right. Yeah, you do actually have a, uh, a score, which is completely useless in this game. I mean, they, oh no, and Rich just takes a fall right into the fire. And that's going to do it. That is going to be how we end things for today on Chase for the Record. All of our players, Bad Breaks, Andy, Dexter, and Infested Rich, all doing a fantastic job putting on a great show. Thanks to all of them. Make sure you give them a follow. Uh, make sure you follow Speed Gaming. And uh, make sure you stick around because up next, Link to the Past Randomizer. It's going to be exciting. You don't want to miss it. So any closing thoughts, Just Defend? Uh, I think it was a good showing today. We had Dexter, he says he was on a roll, and uh, he almost, you know, got that record today, I think. He, if he had a, a Joker glitch, uh, which we had quite a few runs that finished up, but uh, only one of them had the Joker glitch. So again, 
you know, just one of the hardest things that you can do in this game right at the end of the game. So, uh, again, I think it was very good showing. Absolutely, yeah. I think everybody finished runs, multiple runs. Uh, we had a lot of really, really great runs, and it was very entertaining stuff. So, uh, hoping to see more from these guys sooner than later. I'm, I'm sure we're going to see that record fall uh, not too far from now. So thanks again, everybody that participated, the runners. Uh, thank you for joining me, Just Defend, uh, on the commentary. And of course, thank you to Fiesel for his amazing job at uh, doing those layouts and making everything look so fancy and exciting. So that's going to do it for us. And uh, I think we're going to just keep the stream live here and you'll be seeing some randomizer shortly. Good night.